The following podcast is intended for mature audiences. Enjoy the show. Gamers, this podcast was recorded in front of a live studio audience, held against their will. The following podcast contains content not suitable for young audiences. That includes you, little Jimmy. Stop. Gamer girls and gamer boys of all ages over the age of 13. Yeah, not of all ages, Skylar. This is not for children. Ew. Same, say Uh, something explicit. eh. Uh... No, like easy then, easy, 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 easy. Follow the gray line what thing. Is, get in the gray line. Then, explicit, but easy. What is the, what is the uh, greatest meme of this decade? I'll show you his boss at this gym. Uh, <laughs> I don't get it. But, I don't either. Okay, that screw works, you, Leatherhead. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking about that. that. I was thinking about the um, the one He Man singing the song. And I say, hey, 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 I don't know if that makes it. I've heard hey, that high pitched hey, noises yeah. is good for kids, you know though. <laughs> you know what? Uh, what's going on? You know what? Uh, and I said, I like what's in between your pants. Let me take it, boy. Oh, no. Okay, Leatherhead. Oh, okay, that's explicit I don't know enough. <laughs> Welcome to the Radcats hey. podcast. I don't know. Uh, what, about what's it called again, Cole? <laughs> Talking Rad. Thane, what season are we on? Yeah, Talking Rad. Season Tress. Don't worry. It's not like Uno Dolce in uh, Green Day. We can forget about that, right? (laughs) Yeah, that's bad. It's it's Talking Rad, the Rad Podcast. Walmart got got a bad album. Walmart got three bad albums. Oh, yeah, it's the Radcast. I forgot. What's that a Walmart exclusive, those albums? For a oh, while, geez. yeah, they were a Walmart. They're now on Spotify, but yeah, guys, as you can tell, um, Thane mm-hmm. Thanos snapped, and we got a new set. Yay! Thank you, Thanos. Yeah, and shout out to Young Thick, perfectly for, balanced for buying all this things epic good. futon I'm on Thicky's money right here. Pretty much, it's exactly what we're such doing. a good <laughs> man. Shout out, little Thick. You always know should do Thanos. We should put executive here, producer give Th- give Thicky a, a credit. We should have credits. Closing <laughs> credits. Set. Executive producer Thicky. That's what yeah. people always do whenever you or contribute. Set funding. Funding for the set. Or little thick. It's always executive producer. Executive producer. I knew. I used to know what that was. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is anymore. No, but it's that's actually like my teacher always called himself the executive producer of our shows that we would produce. Because he was the one that would just double check to make sure everything worked right. Exactly. So I mean, okay. in a so way, okay. Thicky he did it by making it so we could yeah. sit. So I think yeah. Thick is technically a Thick. You demand you are executive producer. Make sure you um, point at the other camera thing. We got two cameras, but we're only using that yeah, one. Yeah, we're just executive using the producer. To look at us. I can't. I, it's a monitor thing. So <laughs> he looks <slowly> like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, one of my favorite memes was uh, uh, pregnant ladies when Thanos Wait, snapped and doing? literally was like, <laughs> and literally "What is your popping up cinnamon?" <laughs> but, what, why did you just all of a sudden start talking about your favorite meme? What is this favorite I don't know. meme of? He's just uh, going back to the intro. Meme of the past yeah. ten He's years. trying to be offensive. Yeah. We can't go He's there yet. Oh, well, we're not there yet. No, we got some other things we got to yeah, dance around. Sorry, first. I was just talking about that meme. They're oh, just talking about memes. Everybody, how was your? Holiday? Yeah, guys, we took a break. We took a week <laughs> off. Um, and in that week's time, we we got a new set. Um, Cole made some epic new graphics for the channel, as you can tell. Maybe. What do you think of the new thumbnail too, though? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Well, I mean, if they saw it, maybe. Yeah, we gotta take a picture for the thumbnail, still, guys. Should we do it right now? No, well, we won't do we'll it on do the it show. The yeah, we'll do it after the show. Or the, yeah, yeah. It depends on it depends on if Excuse they if, depends on if they watch the the vod or if they watch the live stream. You True. never know where they jump in at. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you guys want to yeah. watch the live stream of our life, we stream twenty four hours a day on uh. Grinder is on it Gr- D live? <laughs> chat. It's right D live. D live. Yeah. Stream on D live. Justin TV. Yeah. Nice, he knows dude. what that is. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah. I heard My of it. My dad knows what that Wasn't is. Wasn't that what Free Twitch was before? Twitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was right. That's what Twitch was before. Boom. And now it's, and now it's gone. Rest guys. in peace. 
You, you that's where you'd watch Family Guy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, because there was an app on your phone. My mom and dad would get mad if I was watching Family Guy with headphones on. See, Cole, cool. you <laughs> use the internet so much. I didn't know what the internet was until I, I didn't was know. In high school. My brother taught me that one actually. I it's crazy. I didn't think about that going to Just TV, looking at the live streams, saying, "Ooh, Family Guy, Simpsons." That was the main thing on Justin TV was like other TV shows. <laughs> like that's what people just do. They just stream nice. TV shows and they never like stream themselves or anything. And now Twitch get viewers. basically has such a stranglehold on viewership. On it's really hard. Well, unless you're artifact, the game artifact, which they just got away <laughs> Porn. with. Oh, no. You have to got away with all of that. P-P-O-R-N. People do that on uh, YouTube, though. There's always live streams of yeah. cartoon shows on YouTube. That's true. I always wondered how they get away with that. I don't think they do. I mean, there's so I many multiple accounts. I wonder how they're there's still so alive. Many sock oh wait, I don't account. think they are. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of burners thing. Yeah, they got so many. That's what they called sock puppet accounts. They got so many of those that they'd be like, "Oh, on to the next." Why one. are they called sock puppets? I'm Is not it because sure. Because you got socks for Christmas thing. Yeah. Cocks up it. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell us about it, Thane. How was your Christmas? Oh my yeah. Christmas. How was your holidays, Christmas, Thane? I got, I got two socks, and each of them had a hundred dollars in the each. Yeah, exciting. So you, had, you got four hundred dollars? No, just two hundred dollars. You had one hundred. Oh, there's two. So you got one pair sock. of socks and two hundred dollars. Yeah. Dane, I gotta ask you: Are you still in possession of these one hundred, two hundred dollars? No, he's no. not. He bought. <laughs> What'd you spend it on? He bought more Luigi's. About about three games. What'd you buy? That's I bought. I bought. That sex game. Um. Luigi, so at Walmart, they had Walmart. <laughs> they had a. Uh, every game was like. Ten dollars off. What it looked like? Wait, no. Like most games were like ten dollars off. So I got Dragon Quest Eleven on Switch. Uh, Had time on Switch. Then I found twenty dollars. I found Rayman Legends on Switch. On PlayStation Five. Yeah. Wait, Thane. <laughs> what about um that one game you were playing the other day where you can s- you stop? You were like a little robot on a wheel. Huh. That one game you robot, you're a little, you're a little robot. You ride around on a wheel. Oh, that was oh that game. Like I used my Nintendo points and got for free. It's called Defunct. It's just a short little indie game. Okay. Play. I beat it like an hour. Is that the one with the guy with the green hat? No, that's Luigi's Mansion Three. Is that the indie game? No. Made by that small indie company. Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, that was. Guys, you should support Nintendo. They're a small indie company, just barely getting started. Yeah. They really like that. Glad that made Next him laugh. meme. Glad that made <laughs> Next him laugh. meme. This guy, what'd you get for Christmas? What'd you do? I got a hat and money. So I got one beanie and I got two hundred dollars as well. Nice. You can nice. buy two some beanies with that. It's true. You can buy multiple beanies. By the way, let it be known, I love my mom and dad to death. Don't get me wrong. But I would much but. rather have <laughs> but instead of receiving money, I would much rather get like like one gift that they put thought in that was like relatable to me, if that makes any sense. Like money to me. You're the opposite of most people our age. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm kind of not that way. <laughs> I'm totally that way, dude. Like I don't really – like the money is great and all, but it's like, yeah, here's some money. And it's like, oh, well, what happened to the magic of Christmas where it was like, wow, I, I'm opening up a gift that – it's a surprise. You grew oh, up. They got me something. You got older. And now it's just like, oh, <laughs> here, here, me how it is. here's some money. Which, like I said, don't get me wrong. Mom and dad, shout out. Love you guys. Appreciate you. I do better next no, year. <laughs> well, the thing is, is like I don't, I don't expect anything either. But it's like awesome when they give you like a surprise gift. You know what I mean? It's exactly. like, oh, and here's this. Even if it's like a shirt or a hat. You know, I think last year they gave me a shirt that was like. Like I think it was like The Office or something. Two something funny that was big. relatable, and it's like, man, that's a good gift. Like the Grinch. What they should do is, I think there's a, you have to find a good mixture. Maybe get a good gift, but also give you a little, little dough. <laughs> What's mm. funny that you say that is that I got a good mix. <laughs> See, I knew it. That's why I said it. I got a I got a nice little little chunk of change, and my mom didn't know what to get me because I didn't tell her, so she got me a nice little speaker. Where's it at? It's right oh, there. It, <laughs> it ain't little, dudes. It's right. pretty it ain't big. Nice, it's, a, dude. it's a big speaker, but it's music really loudly. It's a nice clonker. I saw your Pikachu costume too. Clonker. Yeah, my brother got me that. That's awesome. A Pikachu costume. It's Pikachu I look really onesie. Silly in it. We're gonna go on a hunt. We're gonna catch Pikachu. Dude, 
That we, I mean, he said he said the reason he got that for me was so that we could make videos with it. Dude, we're you know we, you know we are you know we are we're gonna do something. <laughs> It'd be cool if it was like if it was green and then you could put like an animation on it. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be sick. That'd be really, dude. I'm sure you could just yellow. Yeah, you yellow could just chroma key the yellow. Yeah, chroma okay. key the yellow. Dude, then you can on so you can be out. Shiny hunting while someone's shiny hunting on you. <laughs> oh, that'd be gnarly. Wow. It just shows like the screen of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're running around doing stuff and then someone's like catching something on you. Jeez. That'd be cool. Oh. How, how about you, Zay? How was your Christmas? It's good. Yeah? Anything exciting? Any socks? I got a fair, I got I a fair pair socks. of socks. I'm salty about that. I like socks. I got socks. Um. Let's see. I got some candy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Keep going. I, I remember. <laughs> and I, and I got a, a Dollar Shave Club kit. That's about right. it. Oh, did you really? No, I didn't. Oh, I was saying, have you used it? I used to be a subscriber. <laughs> oh, you Dollar did? Shave Club. Do you yeah. recommend it? I didn't know that. I do actually. If you if you're a fan of like the the normal like styled razors, I heavily recommend Dollar Shave Club. Make sure you do the the option where you get it every other month because if you get it every month, it'll start building up a stockpile that you'll never run out of. <laughs> it took me like three years to run out of that stockpile after I canceled my subscription. I'm not kidding. How much were you paying a month? A dollar or two dollars? <laughs> two dollars a month. For, I think I I think I paid two dollars a month for two years. And I had a stockpile of like five years worth of shaving supplies. You other than shaving stock... cream. Other than shaving cream. Imagine having a stockpile of that. That'd be hilarious. I'd love to see that in your room. It's like, yeah, dude, I got a whole closet full of Dollar Shave Club items. It's like, why, I, sir? I, I only, need to shave. I would only get the 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 cartridges for the razors. I because they only give you one handle. I still have that handle somewhere. I don't know where it is, and I don't have any more cartridges though. I think I might. I still have the last cartridge left on the handle though. That's Just freaking cool, though. Was it a good razor? Like, do you recommend oh, yeah. it? Oh, yeah. It was really nice, actually. Because I, I go through these phases with shaving where, like, I like how clean of a shave I can get with razors, but I hate shaving my face. So then I'll switch to an electric razor for, like, it doesn't get four or five months. Though. Yeah, and it doesn't cut. It cuts yeah. like garbage, but it's, it's way soft faster. It's your face. Yeah, I and I don't razors. cut my face, so I'm like, okay, but then... I end up going back to a regular razor for a while because I want a cleaner looking shave so I don't look like I freaking did a hack job on my face. Electric razors give me more razor burn than actual razors do. Really? They, actual razors are hurt, way better. They hurt me like crazy. I don't ever get razor burn. Actual ra- the best thing, the thing is if you're going to use an actual razor and you want to, don't want to hurt yourself, I always try to not shave when my hair's too long because mm-hmm. if it's too long, then it just hurts. Well, that's when you get an electric and trim it down. Real See, quick. I just yeah. don't have one, so like I, I, I like to shave anyway. So like I, I try to stay on top of it instead of letting it grow. If, too like long. if I were to shave my entire beard off, I would just cl- use clippers to get off. Then I would use a, a, a you know, razor. A razor. Yeah, I've just been using the the single blade razor, like the double edge, like the. Like the one handle. I need to get one of those. Single razor. I really like it. My brother had it and he didn't like it, so I just took it from him. And he had a bunch of razors still. I there's there's a whole world of that stuff that I know a little bit about. I kind of breached the mm-hmm. surface a little bit, and it's really exciting. I mean, it's not that exciting, but it's exciting for razors. <laughs> you want you guys want to know something? I don't think I've ever used a normal razor. Like, cream. what do you do use? You just use an electric one. Yeah, I use. I just use an electric razor. Oh, I didn't know that. Life. We should think you should do a yeah. video That'd tutorial a funny on video. showing us how you think you should shave your face with cream. We can all do like shaving. I need. Yeah, That'd I need be to crazy. Get a shaving. Yeah, kit. see how ever, how different everyone's routine is. How you shave? That'd be cool. Yeah, five dollar shave club kit and just. Like I said, my routine changes about every five or six months because I maybe I just get bored with how I shave. I hate shaving. Let it be known. I hate pooping too, but I would much rather poop than shave. Really? Yeah, I hate shaving that bad. I really enjoy shaving. It's really fun to just like get your neck all warm and then like shave off the, each of the little bit of the cream. I don't know. It's fun. I, see, I just think I suck at shaving, and that's probably why I hate it, because mm. I always cut myself, dude. You know what you should do, Sky? You need a better blade. That's just, well, that, I need, that's I need, part of it, No, yeah. I've got a good blade, because I've got the Gillette Fusion. So? I just I mean, suck. Not I suck at shaving. You, 
I've tried a lot of different razor exactly. blades, and I still going. suck. I just keep cutting going. my face. <laughs> keep going. One day you'll find the one for you. That's how it works. I, I did, however. The Ain't that pick? the truth? One day you'll find the one that doesn't cut you. That's the truth right there, dude. <laughs> Relationship advice by using razor Don't blades as metaphors. <laughs> so what I was going to say, though, is what you got to do someday is go to a barber and have them shave your face. I have. Uh, have you done it before? Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. And and then they put, like, this alcohol on your oh face, and, you're, and it burns, but it's, it's the amazing. good burn. It's amazing. Amazing. And it smells oh. good. You're just like, oh, but dude. I've only ever had it one time in my life, but it was one of the greatest, most like. I understand why girls like to go like manicures and stuff now, because it's the same thing, I bet. It was awesome. It was incredible. And I've had manicures less than impressive. Really? It's pretty boring. That's lame. And they painted my toenails after. No, that's a pedicure, bro. Oh, sorry. But yeah, like, just getting yeah, your dog. face shaved and you're not doing anything, you're just laying there getting shaved. It's so good, dude. I, I can attest to that. Like it was the o- one and only time that a I went to a barber shop, and this this beautiful looking man, he uh, came and chopped up my hair. He gave me a, like a he shaved my head bald. He gave me a black guy haircut. Like yeah. shaved me. He used like a one. Shaved it all off. And I didn't ask him to. Fade, I was like, bro. He gave you a fade. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> but he asked me. He's like, hey, uh, so what do you want me to do? I was like, I don't know. Just cut a little off the top. He's like, okay. Puts on a one and shaves Takes my whole, whole head. thing off. Beautiful. Like, okay, but Beautiful. he took a razor to blade be. and he like went on my hairline when I still had one and he like trimmed me all up real nice. Did yeah. the back of my neck and then he shaved my face with the and it was like a single blade that he just shaved my yep. face with and I was like, dude, this is amazing. I would say I got really lucky because I got mine for free. There was a buddy. Skylar knows him really well. A buddy of ours was going through like hair school, like how to cut hair, how to be a barber. How to shave faces and stuff like that. And he needed like a gimme pig basically. I know this is. And he called me up. He's like, hey, you need this? I'm like, heck yeah, free haircut any day of the week. I'll do that. Even if it doesn't look good, I don't care. But it was legit one of the best experiences I've had, like grooming myself. That's I didn't cool. even do it to myself. Someone else did it to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally she attest said. to what you're saying. Give me some. Shout out to Clancy. Grooming yourself. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Dude. So, so, um, so Cole, would you consider yourself a groomer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh no. Kay. Okay. No. Okay. Groomer. <laughs> oh my god. That's so bad. No, I don't consider myself. So, speaking of things that we don't enjoy doing as human beings. And I think specifically guys, but if there is one thing that you could get rid of that humans have to do, oh, I know, I know. what would it be? What's your saying? Eating? <laughs> really? Actually, I enjoy eating. Yeah. I say probably everyone, everyone probably agrees it's probably sleeping. I mean, just think, no sleep. Yeah, it seems you fitting do for what, things. Whatever you want, 24 hours, 365. Yeah. A week. Bro, you know, I, don't, I don't know. It's interesting. Just knowing you guys, I can almost kind of pick which ones are which. Wait, 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 do it. Let him predict it. Go. Who am I picking? I would have picked. I would have picked sleeping for Thane just because I just know he is. Skyler, his is either going to the bathroom or eating, and Zay's, I would assume, is eating as well. So you're fifty. You're you're mostly right, but I would say that if I like eating for me, like I could even go without it. Like you it, have to pick one. Uh, well, mine Explain, mine sleep a hundred percent. Like oh, if really? I if because think about it, dude. That's an extra six to eight hours a day. Plus, you're that's never fine, you're never you're either. never tired. Then you want to so know something? I would much rather eat over sleep because I can eat in five minutes. Sleeping takes forever. You know, I know something. I wish there was like like humans had an easier way to exercise, like keep yourself in shape because you know exercise is hard. I think yeah. that's yours, isn't that yours that you get rid of? No, no, mine's brushing my teeth. Really? I hate it so much. Out of left field. I love brushing my teeth. (laughs) That's my number one hated thing. (laughs) That's really weird. I just, it takes two minutes. It takes two minutes, but it's Miley Cyrus on that big cement ball, bro. I hate it so (laughs) much. It's not fun. Don't you just be like a cat or dog and just like like wild animals? They don't (laughs) need to to brush at all. (laughs) They just eat and then like. Drink water. I don't know how they keep their. But teeth. they got bad breath and stuff. Yeah, bro. Get a dog's if face. If I would have good breath of doing that, then I'd be. I'd probably just do it. Probably if chew I'd have a nice piece teeth. Of gu- chew a piece of yeah, gum. Yeah, all you'd have to do is chew gum. Yeah. But then your teeth will get yeah, bad. Yeah, bro. Your okay, teeth but would it? Let's say that. Still get really well, bad. let's just say your teeth didn't rot. So the only thing if bad they is rot, the bad then, breath. Yeah, to chew gum. Oh, okay. I feel like to, you're gonna get to a point where you're. Uh, it's, I'm sure How does it get would. bad though? It's the bacteria that that forms. Exactly, it's yeah. gonna happen. That's why I think you have to brush your teeth. Yeah. Anyway, what's yours, Zay? 
Was I right? Was no. it? Is it eating? No, I enjoy eating. Oh, you do? I wish I could eat whatever I wanted and nothing happened. New goal for the decade. Because if I no eat bad, sleep. I feel like crap. The reason, the reason and I don't, I, and I, I guess I enjoy eating well. What time? Yeah. But it, it's so much more expensive, and I don't. Yeah, I don't always I know, like yeah. I don't always like watching what I eat, but I I enjoy eating healthy. That's why I the like. The reason I but. the reason I say that about you, Zay, though, is because you always like prep your meals and stuff. So I always figured it was just like a nuisance in your life to have to eat. See, that's the thing, though. That's the thing is I wish because well, he's trying to take care of himself. So that's probably gotcha. what you don't like, right? Yeah, I wish it was a lot easier. But then if it was, then it'd be. I mean, everyone wouldn't have to do anything. So I don't know. That makes sense. For me, one thing that we do that we, oh, I wish we didn't. For me, dude, clean the knowing foreskin. For me, yeah, that's it. Cleaning the foreskin. That you said. <laughs> clean yeah. the foreskin. <laughs> Not Smart. for kids, guys. So, uh, dude, for me, sleeping. It's nice knowing that after no matter like no matter what you do during the day, like you can go home and lay down and not do anything. Yeah. Even if it's it's nice getting rest, but I like knowing that there's going to be a period of time where I don't have to do anything at all. Yeah. Imagine I imagine trying to do like doing things for 24 hours every single day. No. That sounds like torture. No. Dude, in all I reality, like that period of time. You're, you're probably right. Today. I like that period of time where like you 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 can shut your brain off. I mean, technically it's not cuz you dream and stuff, but yeah. you don't like you you don't have to do anything at all. That's why I like sleeping. Too. I like that. I mean, a lot of people like because, of course, it feels good to rest and stuff, but I like it that you can just shut down, not think about anything, and just, that's it. That's why I like to go visit So little effort. House. It's so little Same effort. Yeah, it's so I little effort. You, it's dude. good. It's like, a, it's like a recharge. It's like plug, if, let's assume we were surrogates for a second. It's like plugging in and getting a recharge. I totally agree with what you're saying, Zay, but I still think I'd get rid of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Can't sway him. Well, yeah. there's, there's I like you as a person. Options. I'm still gonna murder there's, you. There's, <laughs> other, there's other <laughs> options though. Like, if you're big into meditation, meditation's another way that you can rebuild energy. I guess. I I agree with that to an extent. But you're still awake. Yeah. That's the. Thing. Isn't That's that the what thing. lucid dreaming is? I mean, you're still your body's still gaining energy, but technically you're awake. I don't know how it, all all the, like the medical stuff works, or like the you know all that jazz. Mm-hmm. I just I just know that like you need to sleep so that you can like store your memories and you have a good fresh mind because your memories are stored. And I think so I, th- I don't think you can do that with meditation. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure you have to be asleep to do I f- that. I feel like you can do a lot of with meditation. You're accomplishing a lot of things, but I don't think you can accomplish. Definitely, you can't accomplish the same things you do when you sleep. We'd have to look into it because I know that there's you can. I know there's a lot train of yourself you can do. to function like your brain. I th- I think you just slip into lucid dreaming is what it is. Is you're you're meditating yourself into such a low. Uh, wave like your vibration is so low like it's measured in hertz right so your frequency is really low and i think once you get below like it's like in the 50s or something that you're asleep i can't remember i'd have to look it up but if let's just say that you could meditate yourself into that state for like an hour two three four hours what's the difference between that and sleep you know what i mean i don't think you can meditate to yourself to that without falling asleep though you can it's called lucid dreaming like that's what i'm saying is you people that lucid dream I don't think it's the still same. I still disagree. I don't think it's the same. Room. Well, and Sleep, that's why I'm saying we'd have to awake. look it up. We'd have to look it up. Yeah. I I think there I, th- I think it's I, I think it's you. there's a lot of things similar about like sleep and, and like what you can and accomplish with that, but also with meditating, like meditation, but I don't know. I just don't think I don't I just don't think meditation you can compare it to sleep in that sense though, cuz with sleep like it's you're complete like meditating you're still like conscious of what's exactly, going on that's my thoughts. with sleep you're not cuz like in a someone, sense yeah. you are but like like if you ever like taken a nap or something like you wake up like you're just don't know where you're at like you just yeah. you kind of you're almost like it's you almost have like a flash of like i don't know what's going on like run across like your yeah. mind for a brief moment mm-hmm. and then you're like okay i'm here i fell asleep at this time what time is it now okay i was asleep for this long yeah. so like i just don't i, I don't know like if it's you were to different. meditate like in your room and say I came in, you would know without a doubt that I am in there, right? 
you would be like, oh, co- someone just came out of my room. Well, you're going to know, probably, but maybe unless, you won't react. Well, and see, that's but. the thing is, like, probably we should do more research. That's why that's, I don't want to say anything either because I don't I don't know about that's it. That's a different type of meditation. What if though, you Scotty? were meditated to the point to where you're 100% conscious, but it's almost people on the outside would look and they'd be like, oh, well, he looks like he's asleep. And you'd have to come and shake me to wake me up. At that point, that's like what people call astral projection. That's what that is. Yeah, where like you get like you're outside of your body, that, you can yeah, see your body, and you're like roaming so around. Would do you think that would do the same as what sleep does? No, I I I don't. I, I don't think it does. I could be wrong, but I don't think that's I don't think it's the same thing. See, and I don't I know really either, don't. but I do know that if you do not sleep, your brain cells like I think your brain cells die if you don't sleep. Like, I, you think, can lose I think brain that comes cells. back to the memory thing mm-hmm. because it can't store the memories, and so it doesn't have to do with them. Yeah, essentially, it gets too full. Mm-hmm. Well, like I've like. I've been like I've been awake for like a long amount of time, like to the point where like you hallucinate and like you don't know. Yeah, and you see crap. So I mean, it's of course your body needs it. I mean, if you ever trained yourself to do it without it, I mean that'd be that'd be insane. But I'm mean, obviously the real way to test this is just start <laughs> learning how to meditate. Then you try meditating instead of sleeping at night. See how see how long that works for you. Yeah, that's the real way to try. I'm it. sure there's people like that have done tests. We just have to look it up. But I've read yeah. studies about people doing like. They they nap for like twenty minutes or thirty minutes instead of sleeping yes, for yeah. four yeah. hours. They like nap every every other hour for twenty minutes. Yeah, or something. yeah and that's how that. that's how they charge themselves. But like in the end, in the long run, like they for the first while it's like rough, and then they kind of get used to it. But then in the long run, like they just don't feel that good. Yep. Yeah. I don't know how long it would take to be able to train yourself to do that. But, but I mean, you think about the twenty four hours we did. There was a point where I was fully awake talking to Zay and as soon as he gave me the controller I was completely passed out instantly so it's like I think your body automatically shuts itself down it, you get to a point where you're like dude I can't even I mean, no I matter watched, how hard I fight I watched Thane play Mario and run into the wall and I look over and he's just dead asleep yeah. too. <laughs> like it, I agree with that or what's crazy is what I always think about like a lot of times when I go lay down, I'm like, I'm sitting there, and like, I feel like my mind's really awake. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to fall asleep. I'm yeah, never going to yeah. be able to fall asleep. And then you and wake up gone. the next day. Yep. Then you wake up the next day, like, how did that happen? I always wonder, how does that transition happen of, like, where I think I'm not going to fall asleep at all? <laughs> I'm thinking of everything, and then you're just out. That's so crazy the wor- One of the worst part about that is you figure out all the stuff that you had figured out in, the, in your mind the prior day, all the things you had thought about like for like future plans and stuff, all that's gone because you don't it's remember. crazy. That's why you got to write it down. I, yeah. I have a journal by my bed you write for it that down, specific you're not reason. falling asleep. That's the thing. I well, mean, that, <laughs> it's, it's I don't know if I'm doing that. Right. Maybe that that sounds like cold. I, I, I well, That's what I do when I try falling uh, asleep. I try to like think about things like how I want to do things with the next day or like with future plans I've got. And a lot of times if I'm not fully awake at that moment, I'll fall asleep and forget everything I thought of. Mm -hmm. So it kind of sucks, but I mean, it's how I get to sleep. Sometimes it works to go to sleep. I guess my, my future is pretty boring that I can fall asleep to it. So what would you guys say? Like, and and maybe we could start with thing because he's starting to slip, but do you guys have, like, a point when you're laying down where you're like, man, like how Zay's saying, he's like, oh, I can't sleep. Do you guys have, like, a routine that you go through in your brain you before you go to bed to try to go to, go to sleep? Oh, like, I guess I'll give you an example. Like, last night, I couldn't sleep at all. And typically when I lay down, I try to lay down and I try to just not think about anything because my mind is always racing, like, 100 miles an hour. So it's really hard for me to fall asleep without listening to music or watching TV. Like, if I watch TV, I can fall asleep instantly. But if I'm just laying in my bed, I'm wide awake. Think about mm-hmm. how... Think about... You've trained your body to do that. Because I remember going over to your house when I was younger. And you and your siblings mm-hmm. would do that. You guys would... TV's like full volume. And you yeah. guys are all passed out. <laughs> I can't sleep because be. the TV's so loud. I'm like... That's because you trained yourself to do it yeah, almost. It's I, so 100%. weird. Like, the, the TV's full on. I remember staying up one night, all night, watching cartoons. Because... You guys left the TV on. I'm like, I'm not going to sleep. I stayed up literally the whole night. That's crazy. Yeah. But if I have like white noise in the background, like a fan, I can go to sleep too. But so it, maybe it's just the, it's, like it makes you feel quiet, more comfortable then. I don't know what it is. Dude. It has to because like a lot for white a lot of people, noise, silence is like, like what they like. That's what makes them feel comfortable. Puts yeah. them in the right state of mind. Or white noise like, eases it's them enough. It's all up to me. East <laughs> It's just all memes with you, Thane. Yeah. What the hell, bro? <laughs> what about you, Thane? We're talking no, about no, no, this. No, no, like, no. What, what would you say is your, your little... No, this is a stand-up comedian there. where he's like, Dad, I can't sleep. And this guy's black, by the way, just for context. He's like, 
turn on your black noise. Oh, that's a great idea. Uh, and then he turns on the black noise. He says, pop, 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 give me your money. Give me money. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, gosh. Is this a skit? What is this? Yeah, it's a stand-up. Is this oh, Dave Chappelle? Okay. No. Well, um, what about you, Thane? Do you have, like, a... <laughs> transition. Yeah, yeah, do you have a transition period when you sleep? Uh, what do you mean? What, like, do you what? have to fight to go to sleep, or can you just pass out whenever you want? Because for me, uh, it's I usually a battle. pretty good at falling asleep. If usually, if I lay there for five minutes, I'll be like, eh. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes, sometimes I'll be doing something like playing a game, and like uh, the the food I ate probably want me put me to sleep. So like the food in my stomach would be like, hey, it's nappy time. It's like, <laughs> eh. it's like a na- <laughs> These little, little Wendy's hamburgers going. It's like a natural. Nappy days, it's like a natural. <laughs> It's like NyQuil's <laughs> embedded into the yeah. food. Yeah. It's like you're going to sleep. Is it great but, when you like... But Thane, you like to watch videos to go to, like, wind down almost to go to sleep, right? No. You don't? No. Usually I watch videos like, all right, time to go to sleep and turn everything off. Oh. And sleep. Okay. Hmm. I see. Sometimes I accidentally will fall asleep if I, with my computer on, stuff like that, but Fuck you usually do that I, I, I try to... <laughs> no, usually I... Turn stuff off before we go to sleep. Oh. <laughs> there was one time, Thane, when you went to work. Oh, camera's off, by the way. Thanks, Thane. There was one time you went to work, Thane, where you left Twitch on and your computer on. Like, you left your PlayStation on and your computer. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. Okay, was that once? Doesn't matter. You still did it. It was once. Still did it. <laughs> Shut up. It's a new year. <laughs> yeah, new year. <laughs> new year, new Thane. <laughs> Thane's going to start wearing socks. When's the last time I did it? I don't. The point I mean, is irrelevant. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, the point was I've never done it, and then this guy brought up a point that you've done it. No, I said I've accidentally done it. Oh yeah, that's yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, but he's trying to like accuse me. Like, never mind. So to see, he's trying to accuse me like I've done it multiple times. But he never said. <laughs> I said he did it once. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you've done it multiple times and maybe Cole's been the one to shut it off I no I've never shut his stuff off before I've definitely shut his stuff off I've heard his stuff late at night but I assume he's still awake <laughs> <laughs> okay wait what about you Cole what do you like to do to go to sleep oh thank you Zay <laughs> well normally I will put on um like a video that's like an easy fall asleep to video I don't know how to explain it, but there's this one creator that I follow who will stream on Twitch and then will just pretty much upload his entire stream to to YouTube. And it's like you'll watch the whole VOD. Oh, I don't even watch it. Oh, you're I, I, throw, I put it on my phone and put it off to the side. I don't even look at it. Look away. Then I close my eyes and fall asleep to him talking. Really? But I have the. Is I have your like phone an, plugged in or is yeah, like a timer or something? Yeah, it's plugged in, but I have an app that will turn off my phone after like 30 minutes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's, see, it's just background noise. That's a exactly, sick it's app, background bro. Noise. Sometimes I'll listen to it. So. I can't do it with podcasts because I will listen to it. But every once in a while, if that doesn't work after like the 30, because that, every once in a while I can hear it like turn itself off into the 30 minutes. You're still awake. And I'm still awake. I'm like, well, I got to do a reset. So my reset is to get up and go get a drink of water and then, uh, you know, drink the whole water. And then I might go to the bathroom or something like that. It's basically do my normal night routine. But or again, yeah, just try to refresh my body. Uh, you know, I, that, that makes sense because I've definitely heard you come out at like one, probably 1231 in the morning and do that. Yeah, just get a drink of water and then go right back to bed pretty much. Yeah. It just resets my mind. Well, now we know Cole, so what you're doing. when I was younger, mm-hmm. when I had an alarm clock like on the desk. I actually turn the radio on and like have the whole radio on all all night and just sleep and it was like really quiet so no one else would bother but that's how I'd That's kind of pleasant. I like I like the radio sound. Yeah, You're but right. now well, yeah, but now uh now I don't really need I realize I don't need music to go to sleep. I can just sleep. I'd be like <laughs> <laughs> See, I need I, I need I, that. I typically yeah. can as well. Like I'm I've been known to just sleep wherever I am and wherever I want to, <clears throat> but I don't know. I It's kind of fun to do it with something because I like to listen to something even if I'm like relatively interested in it, you know? It's still fun to just listen to it kind of and kind of pick up some stuff here and there. You want to know what I think it is for me is, and I, I feel like Zay probably has this, I don't know, maybe you all have this similar but, like, my mind's always thinking about something. Like, I'm always constantly thinking. So it's really hard for me to lay down at night without, 
listening to something to distract my brain from thinking. So when I watch a show, like last night I couldn't fall asleep, so I, w- I went out on the couch and I turned on a show and I fell asleep on the couch. But it was like instant. I laid in my bed for an hour. I'm like, this isn't working. So I went and turned on the show and fell asleep instantly. It's funny because I'm the exact opposite. I can turn off my mind completely, 100%, just on and off switch. I can, one for one second, be thinking about everything under the sea, and then one thing just completely is gone. It just nothing, just blank space up there. <clears throat> Straight up T-Swift. <laughs> yeah. She helps you put you sleep. Under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. What about you, Zay? <laughs> what's your, you what's sleep. your sleep routine? My routine? Hmm. Um... Dang. What I like to do is I'll I usually watch highlights of oh, basketball, basketball games. Oh, but important. what I do oh come on. <laughs> Don't you dare. That's for lunch time. <laughs> That's for lunch. So I'll go I'll go I whenever I get ready to go to bed, like I go brush my teeth. But as I'm brushing that's a nice time for me. I like brushing my teeth. So, like, I'll turn on... I'll watch highlights of, like, <laughs> basketball. I'll watch basketball highlights while I'm brushing. And then, like, whatever, like, mouthwash or whatever. And then I'll go lay down. I don't know, dude. Me For me, for me videos is keep me awake because the light is just activates oh. my brain. Sometimes I will flip my phone over so yeah. I don't even see the light. I like... Cause like, you sweat, like I have a TV in my room, so like if I watch TV in my room, like the whole lights up the whole room, I'm like I can't do this. It's just, it's hard. I don't know. If I'm dead tired, like if I put on a video, like I'll fall asleep and then wake up and then turn it off. But usually I like just to shut it off and then just ride it out. R- like if I'm tired, like I know I'm gonna go to sleep eventually, so I'll just kind of try and lay there. I'll just lay there and I'll go to sleep eventually. <laughs> I don't like leaving. I need to download a nap. That'd be cool. But I don't. I don't. That's the reason, though, is if I leave my phone on, then I don't charge it, or if, like, oh, I, I don't like using my phone when it's plugged in, because I feel like it's bad for the battery. I always think that, oh, for whatever reason. I never thought about that. If, yeah. I'm, I just I see how I'm weird, bro. See how weird, bro. <laughs> I don't I think about that stuff. So I, maybe it is. I usually I just plug it in. Day, so. I usually just plug it in, and then I just I turn it off, and then I just lay down. No, that's about it. See, so I'd say that's probably me like 80% of the time. Like, it's, it's very rare when I go out on the couch and watch a show to go to sleep, but it happens. Yeah. So usually, I, I'm so tired from the day that, like, I can just fall asleep pretty easily. I don't have that much energy at the end of the day. Very rarely, um, and I've never done this except for one other time in Boise, but I, did a, did, I do it occasionally here because my room will get really hot, and I'll go out to the living room and sleep just because it's so hot in my room. So I go sleep in the living room because it's much cooler. And I've only done that one time, like I said, in Boise. But I don't know. I just I don't like to sleep in really hot areas. I like to be relatively warm. I don't know. What about just butt cold? No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like, like it. I like to be under my blanket, so I uh, like it to be cold. But I don't want it to be super hot either. Because um, I don't want my face to be very cold. I want it to be like... Chilly, I guess. I don't know, but not like yeah. not ice hot. Not yeah, not ice, not hot. Right in the middle. Cole's Goldilocks. I'm Goldilocks, baby. See, I like it ice outside, I but I do, like yeah. to be freaking baking in what my about blanket. Your face though. I like breathing cold air. It feels good. Okay. <laughs> I'm weird, dude. Do you get your lips chapped a lot? <laughs> yes, I have very dry skin all the time. Yeah, I do too. Mm. I got pretty dry skin dry most of the time as well. Dry, as dry boy. I get it from my grandma. I got Omar face, dude. I'm sure Zay gets it from our grandma too. Yeah, I like I like my room cold, cold. <laughs> Cause like, I'll I'll I don't like sleep with socks. Do you guys like sleep with socks on? Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't like sleep with socks on. Cause I kind of feel like it just airs my body out almost. I've only done it a couple times to warm my feet, essentially. Yeah, I usually I take my socks off, and then usually at the end of my bed it's really cold. So then I'll just put my my legs down there, my feet, and I'm just like, oh, like it's cold, but it's just it's so relaxing to me. Just helps me go to sleep. It's nice. Guys, speaking yeah. of hot topics and warm things, the decade is over and our topics are heating up with things from the decade that hot topics and warm things. Fires. So two for one special so hot topic. Goth girl. Thanks, Drillbit Taylor. Yeah, thank good <laughs> one. Look at that good catch, dude. But yeah. Cole knows. Guys, I think we should do a a decade review and maybe today's episode it we can sucks. specifically talk about video games, but we could talk about our favorite slash most influential video games that we played throughout 
the decade because 2010 was a long time ago. Guys, a lot of in, you so, guys weren't even born yet. Yeah, in 2010. Hopefully you were. <laughs> this is not for kids. In 2010, I was 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, you doxed us. Come on, bro. <laughs> I thought I was trying to make a joke about Boober. Oh, okay. Boober's not that young either. Boober was just a youngin, though, in dude. Imagine. Oh, think about it. It was 2010. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro, that's so crazy. (laughs) Boob, you're such a little guy. (laughs) But think about it this, though, guys. Like, we can say, man, 10 years ago, we were in junior high. But when we hit the 2030s, we'll be like, whoa, 10 years ago, we were in our 20s. We were kissing each other in our basement. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) With Master Chief watching us. Thanks, Chief. You the bestest. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, is that why you guys? No, I guess. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Halo Four. There's four of us. I don't know. That's why we put the poster up. Yeah. In 2010, I was 16 years old. That's crazy. That's old enough. I was 13. To drive. Dang, you were soft, bro. You were softy and hike. Yeah, was, uh, yeah must have 14. been. Yeah. Thir- I don't know, 13, 14, yeah. That's, it was the 13 to 14 in there, yeah. Because you're 12. Because I'm 23 right now. So, yeah, I was definitely 13. I turned 14 in 2010. I turned, I turned 7. Was it 17 or is it, was I? What are you now, 26? Yeah. I think you turned 16. So, you yeah. turned. So, it's 15 for the majority of the year. Yeah, and then you turned 16. Yeah, yeah, Because his birthday's late. Yeah. Wow. Well. Speaking of, like, our ages real quick, I was always really jealous because I was one of the youngest in our grade because uh-huh. my birthday is at the end of the year, yep. and everyone's like, oh, we're so much older than you. I remember one kid, his birthday was in August, and he should have been a grade above, but he's like, wow, dude, like, you're, you're like, nine months younger than me, and I'm like, well, you're still fat, dude. Like, why are you, why are you <laughs> dragging about this? I remember because I was one of the older kids in the grade. Yeah. I'd always make fun of the younger kids because I could drive before. That's what it was. Yeah. That's probably what it that was. was. Well, 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 Cole was one of those guys that drove to junior high, wasn't yes, he? Yes, not was. junior high. Oh, I wasn't dude, that old. You I know drove what? In freshman year though. The junior high guys, I wanted to. You sock. know what's funny though is like I remember they would say like the like the staff or whatever the teachers would be like, okay, anyone that can drive has to park out here on this yeah. side. There was no <laughs> cars out there. <laughs> 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 it's like who's gonna drive? It's so rare that you find someone that I, I didn't know anyone that drove to junior high. I we think, had a couple. I think oh. that they had to be like the August. August kid. Yeah, it was the August kid, or they had to have um like been held, held back. back or yeah because I couldn't drive until halfway through freshman year. Yeah, see, and I couldn't drive until the end of freshman year because I, I got I, my. I mean, I I could I could do like drive with my mom and dad when I was in junior high. Oh, but I had to drive. Wait, but legally? Freshman- legally? 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 Oh, okay, yes, okay, yeah. okay. I was so slow. I uh, I got. I think I got my permit. You were like summer. sixteen or seventeen, weren't you? I was. In, I got my permit in the summer of when I was like. It was like yeah, sophomore high school sophomore year. I was so slow. Man, I did that like as soon as I could. Because my sister, we I just drove a third high school. Oh, that makes sense. So it didn't matter. And then I was like, I don't even know how to drive. And then my sister went off to college or wherever she did. And I was like, You're I cool guess I now. now need to know how to drive. <laughs> yeah, I need this. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, guys. Thane was a little speed demon behind his minivan. He drove a silver mini. Oh, my mini. gosh. The, what brand the was it? Sil- the Windstar, boy. The Windstar. <laughs> the freak, that's what that was, bro. We freak called it the yeah, freaking dude. the paddy wagon, dude. The make out van. If you made out with Thane's van, you got like a ribbon. With his van? And with his van. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you're kissing the, the exhaust pipe. Ooh, Chase my, all over again, baby. This is my car his name is Chase. <laughs> and I make love to him every night. Oh, <laughs> oh, Thanks, TLC, for educating yeah. us on stupid yeah. stuff. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Just oh, right Cole, height. we need to watch no a video. Required. <laughs> Pull it up. You know, I take the car over the horse thing, let's be honest. Yeah. Say, yeah, dude, car over horse? <laughs> Horsepower, baby. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> well, that's power, Does that mean baby? a car, then, right? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll throw a horse in the back of my, my, my uh, 1999 so what uh, you're f- saying, Zay, Honda that, hatchback. What you're saying is that you're going to have the horses in the back? Whoa, that has a whole Horse new meaning stock now. is what? attached. <laughs> Hat is Matty Black. 
That's what they mean. Sam, are you going to take your horse to the hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and have and me and my, me and my uh, Bojack horseman. lady friend are going to ar- ride it together. Dang, bro. Good luck with that. That's erotic. <laughs> Whoa. What do you call uh, it, like, instead of homoerotic? What would a horse be? Is there, like, a scientific term for a horse? I'm sure es- well, Esquine is. erotic? I don't know what it is. I know es- what es- is. Isn't it, is it, animals got their eggs. Because so, there's no. S, there's AI, you're right, thing. Horse there's a S Esquine. Esquine. But what's, yeah. a, but what's a person that rides them? S- S- Dane has a lot of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not Espion, is it? Es- it's not Espion? Espion? That's not what it is. It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. Screw you. That's not what it is. Espion, what are you, what, like, what animal are you trying to... No, but, like, a, like a someone that rides horses. Uh, a rider. No, yeah. but there's Cowboy. an actual... E- equestrian. Equestrian. Is that what it is? Look it up. Equestrian. Equestria. Rider? Equestria is, uh... No, Equestrian. Not a video game. It's not a no, video e- game. Equestrian. No. Look it up, Sky. No. Equestria. You're right, Say It's e- uh, E-Q-U-U-S. Equus Cabalus. Cabalus. No, Equestria is from My Little Pony. Equestrian. That's why then, because they're horses. It's yeah. equus, Equestrian is someone that trains horses, I think. Equus, 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 equus cabalus is the correct term. So it would be like equus cabalus erotic? Is that the correct? Is that oh how you gosh. would use it in that phrase? Oh, goodness. We're going back to that. I would just say, stop. Stop. I would just <laughs> say equirotic. Stop. Equirotic. That's what I would say. Okay. We gotta, we gotta. Say, will you just pass pass the conversation back to me? We gotta, we gotta go Dang, back. We'll a couple keep notches. going off. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh. Sh- I missed a thing. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh no! It's in my head. Get the conversation. Talk about it then. Yeah. Talk yeah. about it. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> There's blood everywhere. What? What were we talking about again? The hottest <laughs> topics of the decade. Oh and yeah. specifically video, games. video games. Yeah, thing. So See, Thane, 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 you know what the funny, th- you know what's ironic about that? I always tell you about not having good transitions. That was a good transition right there. Sorry was, to your audio listeners. That was your, that was your version of a, a transition. Yeah. That, that's what that now was. I'm bleeding out and dying. <laughs> we'll revive you. <laughs> Name your games. <laughs> you blow his head up? What yeah. are your, what are your you, top you... games of the decade, Thane? From 2010 oh. to 2019. Oh. I wish it was 2009 to oh. 2019. Cole, you should give me that one. There's another one I thought of. Left 4 Dead 2 would have been on my list if that was allowed. Was it 2008? Cole, it should be 2009. Was it 2008? Cole, it should be 2009 to 2019. Sorry, Sky. Wait, it was 2009 PC? No. You're leaving out a year. Wait, Cole. Uh, Cole. 19 is 10 years. Ooh. Cole, right. was 2009, uh, was Ooh. that PC? Left 4 Dead 2? Uh-huh. Yeah. So 2008 was console. All right, first it I'm came gonna, out on PC first. Uh, really? I think so. If anyone wants to talk about mm. any of these games, because I don't want to, I don't want to repeat. I don't, I don't. We don't want to repeat I'm ourselves. Up. So, first game I have is Red Dead Redemption. Anyone got any good memories? It's okay for repeat. Yeah, it's okay. 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 Just tell Red us your Dead Redemption about it. is one of like I didn't really get in GTA because I don't know. It just didn't appeal to me. But then I saw Red Dead Redemption. I was like, there's something about it. Like I guess it's the time period playing as a a cowboy in a sandbox area and just in the dead aim system just just get like five headshots with your revolver it made you do it did make you feel pretty cool it's like oh that's so that's so awesome and uh the story was like very compelling uh it's uh it's about john marston and how he has to redeem himself hence the title and um and you start to, and the story starts to slowly unwrap why he has to redeem himself and how he has a family that doesn't mention any, like that he vaguely mentions, but you get to see them at the end, and um and the gut wrenching ending, which, uh I'm just gonna say maybe just play it yourself, even though you probably know it, but, and also Red Dead Redemption Two, unfortunately I haven't gotten too far into the game. I'm surprised so, you haven't beat it. Yeah. For how pumped Maybe. you were for Red Dead, oh, yeah. dude, he would. I remember in his streams, he'd wear a red scarf. He could put on a cowboy hat, dude. He it was, was that in cowboy into it. hat. Is that why he was wearing the red scarf? No, it was, it was just that, that, that was just the outfit I was wearing. That's a meme a from our outfit. early yeah. days in the you know, channel. What's funny That's though, he, he would seriously put a scarf on and then he'd just come downstairs and just play. Yeah. I saw him. I watched yeah, him. I was, trying to, one. I was yeah. trying to be like you Zero. You know it. how Zero has that scarf? Yeah. I was trying to be like that. Gotcha. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It wasn't. But. Um, All right, game number two. 
Okay, so game number two. Uh, game number two was Uncharted 4. Um, nice. Some of the best uh, cinematic game m- gameplay mix. Like, it felt like a movie you were playing. Like, but, like, not, like, in the negative way that people think. Like, oh, it's too much, like, movies. Like, it felt like a big budgeted Hollywood movie. And you were Nathan Drake, the big ho- the big Hollywood star. And you're just shooting movie. people, grabbing up ledges. It was so amazing. Long. And the fourth one, and... They did it for four games, and the fourth one just felt like a, like had like the cinematic. It was just the climax. Of, yeah, it was great. Nice. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, like probably the biggest collaboration in the history of anything. What year was that one released? Two th- twenty eighteen. Oh, was that one? Okay, that yeah, was the last year. Yeah, one. yeah, I guess All two right. years now. What? No way. A just year and year. some change. A year and some change. Yeah. yeah, we're coming up on two years. And and <laughs> st- and this months. thing. This thing and Super S- and Smash Four and uh, not Smash Four, sorry, Ultimate got so popular that they decided to add another second DLC pass, which I hope is just third-party characters. And also, not to mention, it's Smash Brothers. It's really fun. Get your friends together, get a party, <laughs> and the <laughs> roster's gonna get be- bigger because they not only added everyone from the previous, but they, but they're new characters. Yeah, they're adding more. Have they done new maps? Yeah, no. every new character comes with a new map. Oh yeah, yeah. They haven't brought... I don't know why they haven't brought back some other ones, like the old ones that are still not in the game. Hopefully, maybe, but I don't know. Like, Poke Floats. The bad I, I kind of like to see that one. But, man. yeah, Cole says it if it's bad. <laughs> yeah, if Cole, whatever Cole stage, says is law. Cole's one, never wrong, right? One Pac-Man stage they had for the 3DS version of uh, Smash 4, they didn't bring for some reason. Instead, they brought Pac-Land, and I didn't really like the that. The 3DS version was a good map, too. Yeah, Pac-Land's then, bad. Yeah. Next game, Doom 2016. Gore, guts, fun. Bring in oh, an old Thane's franchise. Thane's just so hard. Back to life. Thane's so hard for Doom. He loves yes, that game. I he really like Doom. He loves that game, dude. Can't wait for Doom Eternal. Don't worry, guys. He's always like that. He loves that game. <laughs> uh, Same man knows. <laughs> next one, Bioshock Infinite. Like... Oh. I did not hear Bioshock for a second. I was like, yeah. Bioshock? What the freak is Bioshock? <laughs> Bioshock Infinite... Like amazing storytelling, and it's pretty fun, fast pace. Like when it comes to genres, first-person shooters aren't really my go-to first, but that game right there, like if I want a good time, I'll, I'll pull that one up. I haven't played it in a while though, so maybe I should pull it up again sometime. But I mean, like all the boss shocks are great. I really like, and I really like Infinite because of like how its story and the ending. That it just is really pretty. Boom. Um, and then you got Super Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, I could have also said Odyssey, but I think Galaxy 2 was like uh, really good memories. Really fun. It's like, sure, some people say, oh, it's just a map pack for Galaxy 1. But I say that some things they did better. Like the how like they kind of paced the levels out a bit better. Now navigating levels are are a little simple. I know some people like the little Super Mario, uh, the little observatory that you just go from level to level. But I kind of like the Mario three esque level select, and level design is always great and fun. One of the must own Wii titles. Uh, next game, Bloodborne. Uh, it's dark tone, hard as hard as all hell. Uh. I really like the the steampunk feel of it, the gothic feel, and the lore is uh, mysterious and deep. And also, nobody it, knows what it is. Oh, you just you gotta look it up. I have, and I don't get it still. Yeah. I have small brain. But, but yeah, like, and also blood. Uh, we were born, born for the blood. Thane loves blood. blood. <laughs> With, uh, yeah. Thanks for being a doctor. Loves blood. Next one. Uh, I think this kicked off a lot of small, short indie games. I think it's like a boom of like walking simulators. But Journey was kind of like the one to like kind of push it forward. Be like, look, uh, it's like we're we're walking through the desert, but it's very compelling. I've um, always wanted to play Journey. Like, yeah. yeah, the actual experience. Walking through the desert yeah. is my six foot. I mean, I have it. You can pull it but up anytime. Like the multiplayer. Oh yeah, aspect yeah. Of it, you don't really get that. Yeah, much anymore, everyone's. Though. Yeah, people are coming no out. But I played it. it. 
when it first came out, and man, it was pretty banging for a short. It took like an hour to beat, but it was. Uh, you can go back through multiple times. It's like a movie, like a little short animation that could could have easily gotten an Oscar. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna hurry. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, next one, Undertale. Too. Um, I really liked Undertale. I know people like kind of were like hating it because of how popular it got, but if you actually play through it, it's actually a pretty good game. Like, it took turn-based combat and did something really unique with it with the little bullet hell mini game. You do- where you dodge the attacks, like that was so fresh and interesting, and also stories pretty good to play through. A lot of store good stories in video games. Good here. memes too. Good memes. I will say Undertale's got one of the greatest soundtracks ever. I love the Undertale soundtrack. People when Sans cost when a Sans costume was revealed for Smash Brothers, people were like ah. Wait, is a Sans a little skull guy? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's where that came from. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I do um, okay. Never mind. I heard something, but I don't know if it's true so or not. It's it. funny. I I heard, I saw it today with that guy. What is it? That the rumor. There's um a Fortnite skin. Of that's Sans? a Sans guy. So, and uh, I saw it somewhere. I didn't. I don't know what it was, but now mm, I do. Maybe. And so uh, I do have some other games, and one of them is Breath of the Wild. But everyone talks about that game. I like it, but I'm not going to talk about it. one game. I'm going to talk about though is The Walking Dead. The Telltale Games one. <laughs> hey, yeah, I was gonna say that okay. too, bro. It's fine. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm Never saying mind. both of you guys can no, say that. No, 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 no. I'm not mad. I'm just well, saying that's know, funny that you snuck that in there. Yeah, I, th- I, I didn't know, know you were gonna say that. I, I didn't know. That one when I was looking up. Yeah. That one when I was looking up, I like saw. It, I was like, oh yeah, The Walking Dead. That's like really a really good uh, point and click adventure game without it like having a lot of puzzles. It just like kind of moved you along. The story was everything in that game. Oh, dude, and that was good. Yeah. It made me feel things that I never thought a franchise like The Walking Dead could feel. Camera enough. Because the <laughs> camera just me. freaking died. But, I keep going. but like, where the show, I think, started to kind of get stale, oh. uh, I, I can't remember at that point. I th- the game, like, came out. It's like, wow, this is this is really good emotional story. And, um, yeah, out of all the licensed games this year, I think that one really stood out, along with Spider-Man. But I don't have Spider-Man on my list. Good game, but I don't have it. Dude, and nah. on one honorable Dude, mention, I want to, I want to say is PT. It was a demo, but what it could do. That's the horror game, right? Yeah, it was oh, what okay. it could do for the horror genre, the potential it had. It's like it was a real shame that the real project got canceled and Kojima then later released Death Stranding, which was – not all it was fed up, the uh, brought up hyped to be, up here. Yeah, hyped up to be, but let's hope Kojima one day does bring that horror game. When he does, I'm going to piss myself, dude. It's going to be <laughs> scary. But yeah, that's my list. Um, hopefully we have time for all the other guys. We got time. It's not like we're doing anything. Thanks, Thane. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some honorable mentions for me because I only got, I, I just have three in specific oh, yeah, that I, I wanted to go. Honorable mention is Breath of the Wild. I already said that. Is, um, mind you, I, I'm not a video game expert, but I, I would say these are like games that influenced my gaming for the last 10 years. But some honorable mentions, I wanted to start off with Fortnite, of course. It's not my favorite game, but I enjoy playing it. Obviously, we've played a lot on this channel. Um, it's a fun game to hang out with your buddies and just goof around. Um, another one, another honorable mention, Breath of the Wild. I haven't even beat it yet, but I'm a big Zelda fan, so I really like that game. Um, my next one is Call of Duty Black Ops. This one almost made top three because we played a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops. I remember staying up like all night on weekends with Zay and we would just freaking play Call of Duty. We'd play Zombies. We'd play Search and Destroy. It was split screen Search and Destroy. I remember yeah. that. That, was, that was was, so well, that's fun, what was dude. great about Black Ops is you could do split screen online. That like so I, I think fun. prior to that you couldn't do it. So I don't remember that. Yeah, and then they did that and like we wouldn't need to like go. To, we wouldn't need to be at other houses. Like we could stay at one house. It was yeah. pretty cool. That was epic. And then... Uh, I got one more, and then I'm going to go into my top three. So, my next honorable mention, which almost made top three, this is number four, was Skyrim. So I, I think Skyrim came out in 2010 or 2011. Oh. I don't know the exact, but... Is that 12? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. It came out in this last decade, but Skyrim was one of the first, excuse me, 
massive RPG games that I ever played, and it was great. I loved it, dude. It was it had medieval, which I love. He's Lord of the Rings fan, but it was an RPG, and it was awesome, dude. It was like a I don't know, well, that's just what it was. It was just a massive RPG piggybacking off of all of the other Elder Scrolls games that they made. But Skyrim was just so cool, dude. And it was so massive for the time, you know what I mean? And the graphics looked great. The only thing that sucked about Skyrim back in the day was loading times. That took forever. But Skyrim was a great game. If you haven't played it, I recommend anyone that if you're an RPG fan to go play that game. You will, I, you will it, have fun. It reminds me a lot of like the open world kind of thing. It reminds you like Red Dead or GTA. Yeah, I really yeah. liked how there's like random things that could happen. There's always something like a like a monster, like you could like people would fight and stuff. Yeah. It's just funny. Like there was just always weird stuff happening. I really like that part. Oh, of That's a hundred percent Skyrim right there. So let me let me say one thing. I remember Zay was like starting a game up, and like he was playing it, and uh, he start get to the, he got to the starting area, and like he killed two guys, and he tried to get them like for. Few minutes tried to get them into the 69 position. Oh, yeah, you can lift their bodies <laughs> up yeah. after. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was funny too. You could position their yeah. bodies, that was pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> the Skyrim is it's a great game. You'll have a lot of, like they saying, a lot of funny, random experiences with that one. But my number three that has influenced me throughout this last decade has got to be Zelda Skyward Sword. And the reason I say this is because this was, in my opinion, one of the first games that did the Wii Motion Plus well. Because you wielded that Wii Remote and you actually felt like you had control over Link. Yeah, it was very responsive. And the Wii Motion yeah. controls were actually really pretty good for I think, Skyward yeah. Sword. And for the, I think a lot of people probably would say that like uh, I didn't have that experience. I think you need having like the sweet spot. What, with the Wii Motion Plus? Yeah. He like knows all about it. Shut down. You need to have it, like, in the right area, and you'd be like, ooh, ooh, yeah. Well, see, ooh. I, maybe I did, though, because I had no yeah. complaints playing that game, and I loved it, dude. It was so much fun. It was a Zelda game, but I really felt like I was Link holding the sword and shield, you know? Because you, you can, I think you can press A to slap. No, you can't. No. That was in slash. that no was in Twilight heroes. Princess, wasn't it? No, you just nope. had to swing to slash. No more oh. heroes had the mash A button. And then when you get did the finisher, you go. Yeah, back. but anyway, in Skyward Sword, it was just great, dude. That was that was a fun time, and I can say that that was one of the first Zelda games I ever beat without any help. I told myself mm -hmm. that I wasn't gonna look up any walkthroughs and I wasn't gonna ask anybody for help, and I beat it, and it was great. But then on to my number two. My number two is going to be the Dark Souls series. I can't really pick one. They're all pretty much the same game. Can I say that thing? They're all relatively similar. Yeah. But that game, Dark Souls, dude, is just great. It's, it's the same formula. It's hard as hell, but w when Rewarding. you play that, dude, it's it's like it's a, it's like an RPG, and it's very dark, very very dark. The monsters are really creepy too, and it's just hard, dude. That's like a game where you'll spend like three or four hours trying to beat one boss, and then when you finally beat him, dude, it's just like a sweet shot of heroin into your arm, and just very uh, euphoric. It's uh, it's it's great, wouldn't you say, little thing? That's yeah. what it's like when you beat a boss. Yeah, it's like a it's a shot of pure adrenaline. It's like I want to do more. I want to kill more. That's what it is, dude. It's like a sick addiction because you'll play for and you'll hate yourself. You'll rage for like an hour or two, and then you finally beat that boss and you're like man I'm a god and then you play a little more and realize you still suck but yeah Dark Souls franchise if I had to pick a favorite I'd probably say number I don't know probably number three is probably my favorite Dark Souls Even but you had the most history with it yes it yeah. took me the longest to beat as well but my number one influential game of this decade has got to be Minecraft Minecraft was <laughs> so I remember when Thane first brought over Minecraft, we were playing, I'm like, dude, this game looks stupid. And I started playing, eight hours later, I was hooked, dude. Like, it's <laughs> just time flew like that. Like, you start playing, and you, you're learning how to craft things and build, and you have to fight monsters, and we were playing with our buddies. This was on the 360, by the way. And I just got hooked instantly, dude. Just eight hours in, I'm like, I think I bought the game the next day. But then... Another thing with Minecraft, too, not only did I pour a bunch of hours into it, but it was actually... What got me to start watching YouTube other than, like, prior to that, I used YouTube to listen to music and watch basketball videos. But because of Minecraft, I started looking up a whole new world of, of video games on YouTube. 
And I remember watching Yogg's cast. They did like this whole Minecraft mod on the PC, and it was great. They did like a hundred episode Let's Play, which I watched the whole thing episode by episode as it was coming out. But wow, yeah, Minecraft was great, man. I still love the game. I I I've never been good at it because I would say my creativity level is pretty low when it comes to things like that. But I enjoy it. It's a fun game. But yeah, those are probably my top three. All right. So my top ten, um, I could narrow it down to five, like we had talked about earlier. But <laughs> whatever. You broke the promise. I broke the promise. I broke, the pro- I, I broke your heart. You didn't notice that I talked about ten games. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was listening. An honorable <laughs> mention. <laughs> yeah. So my number ten is a game called Smite. Smite is a, a third-person MOBA. Similar to League of Legends, and it basically was a almost a one for one copy of League of Legends, um, other than it was third person. The characters were different characters, but they had different um, names and all that stuff, different names of abilities. But their abilities were very similar. Regardless, I played many, many, many hours of that game with my friends. That's one of the things all of us with the computers got into. Is Thane Rip one? Yep. Then over there just giggling like a little like a little kid, little schoolboy. <laughs> he gets dissipated now. Anyway, doesn't uh, work like that. When we first got our computers, that was the thing we played. I do not play that game anymore, and I never will play that game anymore. Uh, I'm really bad at it. It's really not fun to play anymore unless you're good at it. So I don't suggest picking this one up and playing it. But <laughs> very influential to me. <laughs> Number nine is City Skylines. This is a game I always go back to. It came out in 2015. Oh, Smite came out in 2014 as well. City Skylines is a city builder game similar to like SimCity. Um, ever since it came out, ever since it came out, I will go back to it multiple times throughout every single year. I will always re-download it, always um, update it, make sure I can play it whenever I just want to jump on it. I don't know why. It's just it's relaxing. It's fun. It's fun to just lay out the roads. It's probably my favorite part is laying out the roads and making sure traffic isn't like jammed up or anything. Um, number eight is PUBG. PUBG came out twenty seventeen. This was my first introduction to battle royale games, other than Minecraft Hunger Games. Um, I it was like something I've ever seen before. I'm very bad at all battle royale games, but I love the idea of battle royale. It's really fun to pit up. 100 people against each other and see what happens. But I've many hours in the PUBG, a lot, a lot of fun. My number seven is Black Ops 1. Came out 2010. For similar reasons to Skylar, I played a bunch of it. I would say the main thing for me was the zombies mode. I love Call of Duty Zombies ever since World at War. Every single map pack as they came out, I would buy them. After Black Ops 2, I, or after Black Ops 1, I stopped. Though Black Ops 2, I didn't really buy any DLC. But so many Black Ops hours have been played. It's really what got me into YouTube. I would record my own let's or you know uh, gameplays of games and stuff. You know, Skyrim and I did that one. That's What's really, up, everybody? Wee Buns here. That's right. So Wee Buns is here. <laughs> that's really what I got in. That's really when I started getting into YouTube. Now, granted, I had a couple Modern Warfare videos, but it really wasn't until Black Ops that I had started making more. I tried to improve improve the production quality, things like that. My number six is Titanfall 2. Uh, I believe Titanfall 2 was the greatest single-player first-person shooter campaign of all time. Uh, hands down. It beats Halo. It beats any Call of Duty game. Titanfall 2, it's just fun. That's legitimately what it comes down to. It's a blast to play. It's fun to run around, run on walls, double jump, get in your Titan, kill some things. I love Halo, and I love the co-op of Halo. But Titanfall 2 still beats it for me. And also, the multiplayer is good. I haven't played a whole lot of that, but it's not bad. It's basically Call of Duty. Uh, number five is The Last of Us. Last of Us is one of the greatest single-player story games I have ever played in my entire life. Uh, it's insane. The twist. It, it, there's just twists all over. It's like, oh, crap. What is going to happen next? It does something that really develops your love for the characters in the game. And it makes you want them to do do makes you want to do your best that you can to make them survive. Uh, number four is Pokemon Y. I've always been a giant Pokemon fan ever since Red and Blue. I skipped Generation Four, so Diamond Pro Platinum, but I got back into them recently. Um, Pokemon Y was, came out at a time when I was getting back into Pokemon, and so it made me really excited for it. I got into competitive battling with that game. 
and I put roughly 300 to 400 hours of that game into that game, and I didn't even shiny hunt back then. Like, that's how much I played that game. Number three is Forza Horizon 2. The racing genre is my favorite genre, right up there with um, first-person shooters. I love racing games so, so much, and Forza Horizon 2 did the best job of the open world mixed with the, the racing around a circuit. I loved Horizon 1, but Horizon 2 did everything better. Horizon 3, I was iffy on, and Horizon 4 is not as good. Horizon 2 is the best. That was 2014. Uh, number two is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Breath of the Wild is really one of the first open world games I really dived deep into, just completely got sucked up by. I'd played others kind of here and there, like GTA and whatnot, but it wasn't until Breath of the Wild that I really got into open world games and just was just taken away by them. I just loved it. Loved every minute I played of that. And my number one is Minecraft. Easily the most played game, I think, of this last decade for me. I've played many, many, many hours. It's really what got me into PC gaming as a whole. I, I bought a I bought Minecraft originally, played it on my mom's laptop a lot. <laughs> of course, it wasn't as good. Eventually, I got a PC, and I was able to set up my own server on my computer with my friends. We were able to play games, and I just remember so many times of one of my buddies. I don't really hang out with him much anymore, but we would always play Minecraft together. We'd play on a server that we made. We jump into other servers like uh, zombie servers where we just take over cities and uh, kill kids as they came in and got their stuff or made them fight each other and then kill them <laughs> both in the end. Like, oh my goodness, it's so much fun. Oh my gosh. So many good memories with Minecraft. And I still enjoy it to this day. Like, I can always get back on Minecraft and then just do the same stuff I always do and enjoy it. It's my top ten. That's cool. I'm, that's cool. You can get back onto it and still enjoy it a lot. That's cool. I'm with you on that one, Cole. Very I wish cool. I was better at it. I, I do have one comment, though. Actually, a question. Minecraft was an indie game, yes? Yes. Yeah, it's it's made much. by yeah. basically one guy. Eventually, a team grew out of it. That's crazy. And I would crazy. say Minecraft's probably the biggest game of this decade, if we're being honest. Be. Biggest indie game. Like, it has no, to be. Biggest indie game. Biggest, biggest game. Big game, game thing. Like, yeah. biggest game game. Yeah. It has to be. Mm. What do you got over there, Trucker Joe? I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm just thinking. So I know. do have one more honorable mention, but I'll, I'll throw it in after Zay does his because he might talk about it. There's a lot of games I wish I got into more like this what? decade. Like Witcher 3, Persona 5, Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, when did Xenoblade 1 come out? 2012. Yeah. I'm surprised that wasn't on your I list. I forgot about it. I'm not going to oh, lie. Yeah. That should have been on my list. Yeah. All um, those other games on my list had more meaning to me, so that'd probably have to be an honorable yeah. mention. I thought about Doki uh, Doki Literature Club was an honorable mention as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Zay, I think you still should play that one. What game? Doki Doki. Doki Doki. Doki. <laughs> we just. <laughs> Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. We just said the same thing at the same time. <laughs> we're, the same we're meant for each other. <gasps> I'll be the, the ring bearer. The blossoming relationship is, has shown up here. To All right. Podcast. Mine, mine might be a little bit different. Mine aren't like, mine isn't like in a list. These are just like. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I have like a favorite game. But I remember. So my first one I'll say out loud is Red Dead Undead Nightmare. The oh. DLC. Untead. So what's funny though about that is Thane Ooh. he he bought like the the Red Dead he oh, bought yeah. it but then he bought the two discs so he bought the original like campaign or story mode the game of the year edition and then yeah game of the year edition and then it had the DLC with it those two discs okay. so he took that one I'm like hey Thane can I borrow the the Undead Nightmare to play it and then he's like yeah sure so <laughs> I was in I I played a little bit of the Red Dead like just the normal one. But then I I beat the whole uh, Undead Nightmare like yeah. very quickly. So like that's I got into that like I really enjoyed that. This, it's very fun. The zombies in the story mode is very cool. Yeah, that is a good time. Um, let's see. Um, I'll say so. Batman, the one that came out this decade is Arkham City. I really liked it. They said. 
I guess Arkham City is the best one that came out this decade, in my opinion. Wasn't there Arkham World that came out? Ar- Arkham Knight. Origins and Arkham Knight. Ar- yeah. Origins is like not that good. It feels like a more watered down Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I I yeah. see. I really got into Arkham Asylum. I beat that whole game. I yeah. really liked it, and I really liked Arkham City. But since Arkham Asylum came out in like before 2010, yeah. that's why I went with Arkham City. Still really cool games. Arkham City is just like a great game. That's that's one of my honorable mentions. Yeah, that game's so much fun. A two thousand. I think eight nine something. No, what? it's two thousand eleven. Arkham Arkham City. City. Was that yeah. the last that's one? That's what they I made? said. Oh, that's when you said yeah. Arkham City's oh, the last Asylum's one. Oh, right? Asylum's the first uh, one. Yeah. Arkham Asylum came out like 08, 09. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry, Thane. Go yeah. ahead, Thane. You say it. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, the I'll riddles. The yeah. riddles in freaking both of them, though. The riddles yeah. are so much fun. Yes. It's like a whole other okay. thing, dude. I loved solving riddles. And I think, I don't remember which game it was, but when you solve all the riddles, you get to punch Joker in the face. I think that one was City. Yeah. Oh. Like, you get to, like, go, f- like, fight him and just. It's like, that's what you get for making me solve all your stupid riddles. <laughs> it's so much fun, though, yeah. dude. He's not the Riddler, though. <laughs> but but uh, Jim Carrey is. What? I Talk about the Riddler and the Joker thing. Uh, the <laughs> Joker was also a great part of the game. It was very fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It was cool. Um, you guys all have the... You, all, you guys all got the games. So you guys games. need to play them. Tie-in games. You need to do Lego ones too. See, they downloaded thing. They downloaded the Epic ones. Yeah, they got them for free. You guys need yeah. to take yeah, advantage. Yeah, get wrecked thing. I got it for free. Well, I've played them since the beginning. So I've bought so much every fun. single one of them, and I've gotten them for free. And I've never put one into a console or push start on any of them. Oh my gosh! Why? I've owned them twice. It's a stack. It must be a stack God. that's growing. I've heard so many people say they're the greatest games like ever, and I'm like, okay, I'll play them one day. Not. I mean, I. For, I don't. Maybe it's. I think it's just me but it says it's one of the greatest ever. No, it was so people, much fun. Every, but lots of people yeah. say that. Like, that's why I own them twice. Yeah. I think you guys would really like but it. But you're also yeah. a big Batman fan, too. Yeah, but, dude, this... the con- I, I've said it before, but the combat system is so much fun. Yes. Comboing, like, you get in the middle of, like, 30 henchmen, you can just combo them all. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> get a huge point stack. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> uh, it's just points. so ah. nice. You get, like, a like a 50-hit uh, combo, and it just, like, it's tallying up for you right there. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> just two super It makes heroes. you feel cool, because, like, you, you, you're hitting a bunch of, like, getting, a, like, a bunch of sweet hits and yeah. stuff. It's pretty cool. Two superheroes that always may have great material for games are Batman and Spider-Man. True. You, you ain't wrong. Superman, on the other hand, eh, we needs need some loving. Super, <laughs> we, need, we need a good Superman game. And Rocksteady could probably do it, but I don't. I think they might be done with comic book games. I don't even know what they're doing right now. Hopefully they'll do something soon. Let's Just a remake yeah. of Superman 64? <laughs> <laughs> Soft reboot. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah. Good, good, good decade this year for gaming. He's yeah, not done. He's not done. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were. I don't no, know. I was waiting what, for him. I was gonna see what he's gonna do. What else do you? Want? What else do you got? What else do you want to say? Nothing. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say the one, though, Zay. The nothing. one that we didn't say that yeah. you need nothing. to say. Nothing. Nothing anymore. Uh, I really liked um the Walking Dead Telltale. Yeah, that okay. was a lot of fun. That was yeah. an honorable mention for me. I I I remember. I don't like those kind of games, like the decision, like yeah. point and click. But that made it fun. I don't know why. But they did a really good job of making it I very feel interesting. Like the story's just like really engaging. Yeah, you get attached to the characters the and like decision making and stuff. Like you actually, like yeah. you're worried about like how the decision will affect you later. Yeah. Pretty I cool. I like those the story decision very type cool. games, especially um, in the RPG type games. Yeah. Let's see another one. See my other ones are just same. That's fine. You can say them. Everybody's um, different. I like the game I'll never play again. <laughs> oh, it's true. No, I, I put Fortnite. I like Fortnite. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I put that one too. Fortnite. Yeah, I don't know Fortnite. what else to say about it. It's You've it's probably cool. played that the most of any game in your life. Probably. Not yeah. even kidding. Well, GTA, dude, I put a lot of hours into okay. GTA. But... I just I played that game for like six and a half hours the other day straight. I didn't get up once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a statement. Wow, I mean, that game's a lot of fun. Yeah, so Fortnite and then GTA Five. So I think um, 
Yeah, GTA 4. I pl I played a lot. I played a lot of all the GTAs almost. But GTA is the only one, GTA 5 is the only one that came out this decade. And I think it's the best one hands down. <laughs> um yeah. I I don't know. Story story's amazing. I really love the story and then just I love the random events thing where like anything can happen. It's just <laughs> yeah. like all the other open world games like Red Dead or or Skyrim. Mm -hmm. It's just so much fun. Um they really did a good job, I think, with the yeah. GTA open events. Yeah. Dude, it's so much fun. Just I remember. All the events are night, like, nothing's scripted. Like, of course, the what happens is, but, like, you don't know when it will happen. You don't yeah. know. If it's the first time you've ever experienced you're like, why is this guy, like, telling me to follow him or whatever? Oh. But then you do, and then either it gives you, like, some reward or you, like, there's times where people will tell you to follow him, and then they end up, like, just, like, sticking you up. Like, they'll try and kill you yep. for your money yeah. or your guns or whatever. I remember... I think GTA. G, um, I remember Red Dead. There were a lot of random events. That See, that's they, cool. Rockstar yeah. does so yeah. good at that. But I like that. I think since it was kind of like kind of the first time they did it, they did get repetitive. You kind of knew like, oh, I know this is a stick up. I know what to do. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. yeah. But GTA Five, like I think like they legitimately felt ve like more varied. I remember there was one specific one where the the two bank robbers that you collaborated with from in GTA Four, they were try to drive a getaway car it's like hey get us out of here and they were mentioning Vench gt4 it's like this is worse than the time we were robbing a bank in new york or in what albany uh, liberty yeah. city oh well, yeah it's liberty like, city, but... oh it's those two guys okay <laughs> and what's what's weird though is they tied another one is like the the there's that whole dlc the lost and the damned that yeah. biker gang yeah, they killed that's, the main character. That's who you. That's who you kill right away. Yeah. Is Trevor in GTA Five? So they kind of yeah. just tied in. They all and they also, I think, they kind of made a super statement. It's like weird. you didn't like this game. You didn't like that character, so we killed him for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wasn't the fan favorite. So. Um. What's another one? Nice, but NBA Two K Thirteen. Is that okay? So I gotta ask. Oh, what's the difference between all the different no, years? No, 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 Okay, no. okay. Um, because I've been listening to a podcast, and they were they've been going over their the past, the, you know, their decade list as well. Yeah. And they also had like special guests pop on, and one guy said Two K Fourteen. I think is there Two K Fourteen or Thirteen? And I asked well, Jake. What was special about it? Did I you asked say Jake anything? which one was your favorite? And he said Fifteen. So why was 13 your favorite? Honestly, I think it has a lot to do with, like, how much time you, like, you put into it. Gotcha. It could just be, like, a personal thing. Gotcha. But for me, I think I think 2011 was the first year they brought Michael Jordan in. So before, Michael Jordan, like, they didn't have the permission to yeah. use him or whatever. Yeah. So, like, when they brought him in, you could, like, play as him. And then, like, they eventually, like, you could play as, like, like these huge players. Yeah. That was really fun. So, like, in 2013 or 2K13, that was, like, a new way and then like the story mode and like create your own player i really got into that like gotcha. i remember you can create your own player and like play through a whole season or whatever i really like that you customize your own guy and you like build your skills and stuff else yeah, i poured a lot cool. of hours into that that's pretty cool that's about it well, awesome well i do got one more honorable mention that i think all of us can relate to except for cole sorry cole <gasps> but oh resident evil guys dan i thought this yeah. would have been yeah, on your resident list evil five bro Res well when did resident evil five come out five was 2000 Nine, maybe. Mm. No, I was yeah. talking specifically about Resident Evil Seven because that's the one oh, we played. Yeah. Ah, seven Resident just seven, seven got inside of me. <laughs> it was so <laughs> much. Seven really brought PTSD. It brought bro. it back, seven, dude. Seven really jolted life back. Res, in Res five was two thousand nine. After, after the god awful Resident Evil Six, I did not like Six. I remember Jordan bought Six when we played that. I'm like I bought it. Not, I oh, bought maybe it. it was you. Yes, I bought it. I remember it. playing that with Jordan. I'm like, this just has on the same magic as number five. Yeah. But then seven number five really was like well. the ch was like playing it alone. It was awful because the uh, Sheva or sucked your AI or companion yeah sucked. your AI companion brother you played as Sheva or Chris like they both sucked. Uh, Wait, you could play story. You could play story mode together, right? Yeah, yeah. but play it oh, together. So cool. We need to yeah, do dude. that. Yeah, but play it together and it's just a fun rock. Resident Evil Six, like the magic, like like. Um, they took out like what kind of made Resident Evil Five special and kind of made it more like a third-person shooter. And it just felt watered down and just boring. Like it didn't like if they, I think they were trying to go in the middle of like trying to please third-person shooter fans, like people like Gears, and also trying to still keep the survival horror elements. But like, I think they should have just been honest with themselves. Like, all right, take out all the survival horror and just make a pure action game. That's gotcha. what I thought they should have done. 
That but being instead, said, though, Resident Evil 4 compared to 5, number 4 completely triumphs. I think yeah. from 4 to 5 is a letdown, but from 5 to 6 is horrible. Yeah. And four. I loved Resident Evil 5. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Number 4 is like like uh, the pacing. Like I think the only game that really rivals it in pacing is Resident Evil 2, and those games both star Leon. Leon is the best boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, yeah. And also, people say the old school Resident Evil is between one, two, and three. Number two is the best, and guess, uh, and guess who's also in that because it was remade. Claire Le- and Leon, Claire Cr- and Leon, Chris Redfield's sister. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, actually, a lot of people like Code Veronica, and guess who's in that one? Leon. No, Claire. <laughs> I, I have another honorable mention: Portal Two. Ooh. Uh, Portal Two was one that. Now, this is a true story. This is before I played any Portal game. Um, I remember I was sitting in my living room, and an Two ad for Portal 2 came on. It was just the little robots, Peabody and the other one. I don't remember the other one. Wait, was it, on, was it on TV? It was on TV. Whoa. I was in the living room with my mom. My mom was like, what is wow, that? that game looks like it would be fun. It would be good because she's like trying to get me like not to do like violent games oh. like Call of Duty and <laughs> well, stuff. That one seems simple. <laughs> and I, just, this is, I don't know what I said word for word, but it was along lines of, no, that game looks dumb. <laughs> oh. Get roasted, mom. Get roasted, mom. And eventually, I played Portal One, and I was like, "This is so good." And this is when I started getting cultured with video games. Oh, I started realizing yeah. what makes a good game <laughs> compared to shooty shoot 'em ups. Yeah, <laughs> shooty. And then shooty. I asked my mom for P- for Portal Two for my birthday. Got it for my birthday, and it was one of the greatest games I'd ever played. Yeah. It was very the, good. The co-op. Sorry, what mom. they the greatest thing they did was that co-op. Yeah, the like, co-op's real good. Yeah. And it's a separate campaign, so it doesn't feel like an awkward, like, oh, we'll put a second shell in the yep. main co-op. Instead, it's just the two bot Peabody and... Uh, Herman. I Herman. always call him Herman. I don't, I don't think that's his name. It's like Peabody and Sherman. Exactly. That's yeah. why I say Herman. <laughs> Dude, there's some... Atlas. Also, Atlas. Atlas and Peabody. There's another one, too. Freaking Borderlands. Borderlands, Borderlands was a fun game, bro. I think yeah. Borderlands 2 came out this decade. Borderlands 1, I think, was like 2008, oh. 9. But even Borderlands then, I two still was a yeah. I really liked that big dude. game. Yeah, it was still <laughs> a lot of fun. I really liked that one. Yeah. Mm. Um. Well, when I saw an ad, like I was keeping, uh, I was actually so. Uh, when I had a what's it, GameFly, I did rent the orange box from uh, on my Xbox 360, and that's how I played Half Life Two because I heard about Half Life Two. I was like, man, I like to play that. That looks awesome, and I did. It was pretty good, pretty solid, and then I had Portal in there. It's like, ooh, this is fun, and um, I saw and I heard Portal Two, and I was waiting for it, and is uh, and I knew what it had, everything. I was looking out for that game, and surprisingly, I saw an ad on Nickelodeon of all places. That like, might have been where I saw mine. Like, Portal Two. Whoa! And also the cameras. Go okay, that. Yeah. So yeah, I'll be back. So speaking of camera, I'm gonna throw this on you guys, and I that you guys I know you guys weren't expecting this, but just to quickly close up, we've been going for like an hour and a half, but I want you guys to pick, and you get to pick one thing. But what would you say has been the biggest, in your opinion, the biggest uh, tech of the decade, like most advanced or most influential or whatever, your favorite piece of tech of Tesla the decade? <laughs> I'll just get my answer right away. It's the smartphone. Mm-hmm. I think it's easily been one of the mo- the game the biggest game changer there's been. I remember asking my dad for an iPhone 4s because I really wanted one because of all because I could play games. I could you know do all these things. Surf the web. All your I, friends had them too. I, yeah, mm-hmm. for real. I got my dad on the the whole that you can take a pictures and he loves taking pictures because yeah he grows flowers he hybridizes them. He loves taking pictures of with his, with his phone. He always gets the newest phone so he can get the better camera for his pictures. Like cameras are crazy like on the cameras smartphones, on the bro. smartphones. So crazy. The, just the screen is just gorgeous. You can watch movies, watch TV. You can call people. You can listen to music. All these different things in just a one. Mm-hmm. It's a game changer. Just back in the day, we'd carry an iPod. We'd carry yeah. our our credit cards. You know, we'd carry another cell phone, a flip phone, or something. We carry all these extra little things, and now we can have it in one spot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's insane. Cell phone, it probably is. That's one of the biggest. Like. Yeah. Think about where we started and like how much it's changed in ten years. That's insane, yeah. bro. You know what? I think I'm gonna say yeah. A Tesla car is probably a big 
So like an electric yeah. car. Yeah, it's a big step forward to have something like that. Um, but also another piece of I don't know if it's a piece of technology, this more a piece of software. I think the Unreal Four engine is probably <laughs> one of the most advanced engines. For video and games. For and it's free. You can use it for free. You yep. just gotta That's pay crazy. You just gotta probably pay a massive fee if you want to get your game published. But you can Pretty much develop a Wait, game. Wait, you can use their engine to be able to develop a game? Yeah, for free. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Gotta, I didn't know gotta that. You just got to make sure to pay the license when you're yeah, done. That's yeah, that's freaking cool, though, dude. Dang. So um, this this is what I would say is... And Tim mine, Sweeney, I think that's his Mine name. for sure, genius. number one, is the smartphone. But to do a different one is I would have to say streaming services. The ability to stream music, videos, and video games. And I guess for video games specifically, not talking about Stadia... Because I don't think we're there yet, but being able to download video games without using a disc, being able to listen to music through a streaming service, being able to instantly watch hundreds of thousands of shows and TV shows so from insane, across all the dude. different streaming yeah. services. The ability to consume content now is completely 100% yes. easy. It's crazy. It's and changed. it's cheap. It's changed so much. I mean, at the beginning of the yeah. decade, we get our movies... Uh, via Netflix on the mail, yeah. mm-hmm. you get a disc in the mail and watch a movie and send it back and get another one come Red come box. a week later. No, all it needs yeah. Redbox. Red I still no. think we were going to Blockbuster yeah. or Redbox Hollywood is Video. Still alive, bro. Yeah, That's Hollywood crazy. Video, baby. You know what's funny? It's to tie this all back together. Yeah. I got I played Portal One because we were at Hollywood Video when it was closing down, and I got a copy of the Orange Box for two dollars. Nice. <laughs> It was a local spot. It was a local video place for you, anyone that You know what's know. funny? <laughs> the sign for Hollywood Video is sitting at my dad's shop. It is. <laughs> and I, I asked him dude. if we could have it, and he said, yeah, but we don't have anywhere to put it. It's, it's humongous. It's it massive. It's huge. Like, we couldn't fit it in our basement. Dude, I loved Hollywood Video. It was, so, it was an experience yeah. going there. It really was. There was a lot of games I'd rent there and be like, and it's crazy also, rent a game out. then take yeah. it back. It's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing that all the time. I remember doing that. I'm like, yeah. hey, with the like, Ninja Turtles. Like, hey, can we go get a game? I'd say it to my parents, and they'd be like, yeah, and they'll get their movies, and I'll get a game. It's so crazy. And, uh, the thing is, if sometimes you'd on time, wonder, or... is this game gonna work? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> or, or or what sucked though it is you work half most you, of the time. You get a random game, you don't know what it is, and then it ends up sucking. Yeah. yeah. So like, oh, the dang you, bro! I got the wrong choice. <laughs> I, this happened to me, and my parents didn't really go to these places a lot, so I went with Zay, but I convinced my mom to go once, and I got a game. I can't remember what it was, but I remember how close I got to the end because I just played it all weekend, and I couldn't beat it, <laughs> and I had to take it back, and that was it. Damn. That's the I, my definition of blue balls. Games. I got only one time I was able to get a game. It was Jack X Race, Racing. Nice. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> For the PlayStation? For the PlayStation 2. Sucked, huh? No, I, I loved remember, it. It was fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had a good time. So this is also before the time where I could figure out, oh, I can go on the internet and look up a walkthrough. Because, like, back, like before the internet, y- like, I thought you had to get a strategy guide. You had to call a number. You well, did. You had to. That's what I'm saying. You had to get the book but, that says how to beat this game. Or but call what I didn't know, on the back of the what I didn't know is that there have been guides online for years. Yeah, there has. And but I they, never knew this. You just didn't know. Yeah, you and just I just didn't. abuse them now <laughs> <laughs> because everyone has a guide on every game IGN. practically. IGN's my number one source for yeah. walkthroughs. They got like a little game wiki. Too. And uh, I remember renting this game called The Haunted Mansion. It was like... Loosely, oh, Eddie Murphy? No, it was very loosely based off the movie. Okay. Like, <laughs> one thing, it was like in a completely different time period, and you're playing as this I- 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 Ichabod Crane-looking mother <laughs> boy. It was not Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and, like, you had this lantern, and you shot, like, Ghost orbs at the ghosts. <laughs> it sounds so. And I remember it's so me. stupid. I remember after getting to the first room, it's like, ooh, stairs, and they fall down, and you I know tried to, to wander go. around the room, and I could not figure it out. And for that whole weekend, I had that game, and I couldn't figure it out. And I was so disappointed. I was like, <laughs> oh. Did you ooh. ever figure it out? No, I never did. <laughs> We should look it up and see how you the, beat it. I know. I should look that up. It's like I'm. So, I would feel. I probably would feel like such an ease. Like that's what you got to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one and one game that almost happened. That almost happened. If my brother hadn't come in and started playing it, was Tomb Raider Legends. There was a puzzle at the beginning that I couldn't figure it out, 
And my brother's like, here, I'll try it. And he does it. I was like, oh, you I probably boy. would have been stuck with that game, not trying to figure out that puzzle. Unless my brother came in and helped. Other than that, I really did like Tomb Raider Legends because there was a lot of shooting in it. I was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, pretty fun game. What about you, Zay? Did you say your tech piece? Oh. Tech. I don't know. Hmm. I got another one, too, that I could throw in if you Probably, don't. Probably. Oh, freaking. I guess maybe this has been around for a while, but when I first... I remember... Um, Aside from all the things you guys said, I think I agree with all of them. It, uh, I think when I first, when I got my first pair of like Bluetooth headphones. Oh, dude. That's what I was like, going to say. Yeah. Bluetooth. Like when I, I, really I remember going to the gym the with, thing? with wired headphones. So I'm yeah. like, ah, it just sucks. I wish there was something else. And then maybe there was, I just didn't know. But like, I remember when I first when I bought my first pair, and they don't have the wire on them; they're just the buds. I was like, oh, this is exactly what I needed. Because then, like, you can just put your phone down, and you can leave, or you can go like a certain distance yeah. away. But like, it's so nice, dude. And then like, they don't fall out of your ears. It's that for me was one of the biggest things. You wonder what's crazy about Bluetooth. Maybe it's been around for a long time, but I don't think it has. Because what's crazy about Bluetooth is I I had a boss many moons ago. It was like five five years ago. As I say, boss loosely, she was in charge of me, but she she was a multi million, hundreds of millions. She was worth so much money, and like I said, she was my boss at the time. But she was on the committee that invented Bluetooth. No, way. really, yeah. Really? And she she told me I sat down and talked with her because, well. The, anyway, the job I was doing, I was kind of stuck at her house for a little bit. And so I just sat, and it was me by myself. It was her and her husband. But I just sat and talked with them for, like, hours about what they did. And he, he owned a multi-million dollar construction business. And then she was one of the freaking, on the committee. So she didn't specifically come up with the idea of Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. But she helped idea. mold yeah, it and create idea. Bluetooth. And so she told me all about the process of it. And, and I would say even prior to this, like I didn't, I mean, you know what Bluetooth was, but I didn't really use Bluetooth all that much if we're being honest. I, you know what I mean? I remember using it for, for music though. I remember I'd send ringtones and music yeah, that's, with my old flip phone. I would do that. Yeah. And I'd I think send that, it that was all I used via Bluetooth. But I remember all like pictures, they were so bad, like quality was so yeah. bad with pictures. But then... If you think about it, the Bluetooth headsets, whenever, like, you'd see, like, a guy that's, like, business suit or whatever, yeah. like, that's always a joke. They, ever, the one they have one in, they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, like, that's, that's kind of, it's, it was there. I mean, yeah. you just didn't think of it, but. It was kind of like the, like, a high class thing, because you always thought of the businessman that had it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, now everybody's got AirPods that do the same thing, but yeah. better. Or SkyPods, right thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I got one last honorable mention before we wrap up. Memory, just in general. Memory. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking back to oh, like yeah. my sister's having a uh, iPod, and it has a, a 30 gigabyte hard drive. Oh, hard drive, not a solid state drive. A hard drive. There were moving discs inside of this iPod. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dropped it. It it's would do done. the whole like skippy thing that like a CD would do. <laughs> Wait, was this a fat iPod? It's a pretty, it's a thick iPod. Oh, it's one okay. of the first ones mm -hmm. that could play movies That's and stuff. so crazy. I didn't oh. even think about that. That's, that's got to be like 2008, I would assume, maybe 2007. But regardless, like nowadays, 30 gigabytes is like pennies mm -hmm. and i think that that ipod was probably 300 dollars or 400 dollars at the time yeah and like you can get 30 gigabytes for pennies and solid state media like flash drives for pennies mm -hmm. yep. it's insane where we've you, gone dude. you can only do you can only do like a few movies with that but like you could do a ton of songs with 30 gigs you definitely yeah. could yeah Gosh, the one thing to say insane, dude. so bill gates back then i think in like the 80s 90s had a quote and said, 200 gigabytes is all you'll ever need." <laughs> and I'm like, "Wow!" But I, at the time, though, at the time, yeah, it's all you needed. Time, That's more than you'd ever need. 
That's far. That's no. like that's like yeah. what Skylar thinks about two terabytes. He was saying like, oh, I just need two terabytes. Just like maybe a month ago. Yeah. And I'm like, no, Sky, you should get more because you'll need more. And then you said, I can't even. You, no, you even said this. You said, for how, me, how am for I going to fill up two terabytes? I'm like, think about it, dude. You got for games. Me, you got videos. These will fill hey, up. But no, 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 for me, I, though, I'm thinking like I don't play that many games. If I do, it's occasionally like I'll get a game or dude, whatever. it fills up. But it then I don't get music. Like I, I, I don't get... I mean, I just don't think up, I'd dude. use it. It really does. Yeah. I promise you. I don't know. See, I don't think I, 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 I don't think I, don't I said that. I, cool. I definitely fill up two terabytes, but mine. Maybe it wasn't you. Maybe I was just my Mine's a hundred percent video though. Like my games, yeah. I can delete games. So I, if I had a two terabyte hard drive for just games, which is what I have now, I'm okay. But for my videos, because I always keep everything that we record, that fills up quick. Yeah. I think Makes also sense. the movie. There's a sci-fi movie called Johnny Mnemonic with Keanu Reeves and um like in the future you can like store your memories and delete your memories and you had like so much memory and brain and <laughs> like this is back in the 90s and they only have like three I think like three gigabytes of memory <laughs> in the brain it's like <laughs> wow I wonder if you try to convert it like your actual memories into yeah. space how much space it would take it's up. not yeah. very much I'm pretty sure it's not very much. There's long term, but also short term. I think short term mm. memory isn't very much. I can't remember exactly. It can't be. I Those are like know. temporary files, basically. Yeah, that would be like temporary files. Because in that in that show <laughs> Steinsgate that I like, mm -hmm. they they uh, that's what they do. That's how they send you back to the past. They send your memories back to the past. They convert it into a file, mm -hmm. and they they compress the file, then they send it back. You have to unzip it after. <laughs> Essentially, it unzips wow. it in your brain. No. <laughs> Gosh, that's so crazy. I need a computer. Mm. That's a quote from the giant mnemonic. Well, gentlemen, we have come to the end. We've talked so much. Yeah, this yeah. is the longest show we've done, yeah. and it's the first episode of season trace. They won't all yeah. be this long. Nope, sorry. This is like, this is like a Unless we breaking, start a Patreon. Like yeah, that's bad. what she said. I mean, that's like what he said there. Bad, walking <laughs> dead. <laughs> Uh, you know how, like, <laughs> oh. they begin the first season with, like, an hour banger. and a half long episode? Yeah. Yeah. It's just like well, that. This is an hour and a half long premiere. Maybe let us know. I like yeah. longer episode podcasts yeah. if they're really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I can. But if also, they're dry, like, it's just, them. eh. Well, are we dry? Could, if we're honestly, dry, we need to lube up. No, yeah. honestly, if, it, if it's boring, <laughs> like. do that. But the thing is, if it's boring, if no one likes it, then they're just going to turn it off. So, like. If it's long, then if they're gonna li if they like it, they're gonna listen to the whole thing. But if they don't, I mean, they can just turn it off like that easy. But we like doing this show, so if you don't like it, I enjoy long hour shows because then we have more time to talk about things, and it's not like oh, we can't express all the thing you feel about this because we have to meet the time. Well, then should we turn that this season into that? We can uh, just speak our brains. Maybe, maybe I think it just depends because today there's a lot of things to cover. So I mean, we kind of had to because we yeah. all had a list of at least five games that we wanted to yeah. talk about. We all talked about them in detail almost. Plus, we went on our thirty minute tangents like we always Sleep do, and yep. just talking whatever. about horses, loyal. Oh horses, my gosh, I forgot about that. Equestrians. Part of the show. It's equestrian. <laughs> We're back at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I don't. I think it just depends on the topic, honestly. But I guess speaking of the show, kind of we're doing a, a different layout um, of the show. Is like you can see, I got my laptop. I didn't really run this episode; it's kind of all of us together. But what we're gonna do is each one of us every episode is going to kind of come up with the show and basically topics. be the host. Yeah, be the host. That's exactly what it is, Cole. Thank you. Be, be the host the of host. your own life. Yeah. So who's getting next week, fellas? Since I kind of did this week, who wants next week? Thane does. Thane, can you put a show together? It ain't gonna be me. It's just an outline. <laughs> I gotta do. I don't even know what he said. So yeah. if you, it ain't gonna be me. If you shoot someone else, it's gonna be you because they're uh. dead. Yeah, you just killed us. <laughs> Come on, think about it. It has to be you. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> oh, it ain't gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> all, you do is put, say, all you do is put together an outline. Ask yeah. people what they like. like um, yeah, okay. Like a topic that they want to bring up, you ask us what topics, then you write down the topics on the outline. Right. Thing you saw right. how it went right, today. Fans, Sky asked it. like two questions, and we just talked the whole time. Yeah. All right, too. fans, you heard it. Make that outline. By the way, if you <laughs> guys job. don't if, do it, fans. If you guys have questions too, feel free to ask. If there's questions that aren't really dumb that you want us to answer, I mean, we'll answer pretty dumb questions, but you know what I mean. Like, why am I? Yeah, why might pee be hard? Why might pee be hard? We can answer that for you, but you're not going to like it. <laughs> well, I mean, you may like Dad, it. My, <laughs> Dad, my wiener fell off. 
Well, really? son, that's not good. I guess we have I think to if, yeah, yeah, if you guys have any questions, I think it'd be fun to talk about user yeah, submitted thinking, questions. Because like, we talk a lot about older things like going to the video store. If you want to know about things like that, feel free to ask us because it's fun to talk about. It's fun to reminisce for us. It might be educational for you. Do you guys think that we, like every week we could just like throw up on Twitter or Instagram and be like, hey, ask us questions for the next show. We could do like fan submitted questions every week. I feel like it had to be Discord for, for now. Either that, that yeah. That's probably true. And then after a while, it would probably be email. I don't know. I would love that. That'd it's be good. Because yeah. if, if there's so many people commenting on, like, social media, it's just you kind of well, get we'll just, We could go through and just, we could fail through, go through, pick, yeah, five, just pick three whatever. to five questions or but, something. But, well, um, what? Well, well, that would be your job, yeah. Dave, because you, you're running the show next week. Yeah. And the, so you would just ask the question in Discord. That's all we're going to do, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys, what's your favorite hentai? <laughs> Same, that's, man. That's the question for next week. Yeah. Can you say it, man? <laughs> but uh, I guess the last thing we wanted to touch on, too, before um, is just what's in the works, I guess, kind of the future of this channel. I know we talked a little bit about it in the season two finale, but... Um, this is house cleaning. Yeah, pretty much. We just kind of wanted to keep you guys updated. Thane looks like he has something to say, so I'll let him say it. Ooh, cold. Nope, I don't got anything. Oh, okay. Maybe just wanted to shoot Skyler. Yeah. Well, specifically, I wanted to talk about merch. I th we're in the works oh, of yeah. <laughs> we're in the works Cole. of working on merchandise. Cole has come up with some beautiful designs. Like we mentioned at the beginning of the show, the the new YouTube banner that we've got and the new thumbnails um, for the podcast. And we have a new song. We have a new yeah. So the, this, we have a new intro. The intro it's, song that you heard for the podcast, uh, Zay actually made. Freak. Zay and I made it Skype. together, but it was. It, it's there's a lot coming, fellas and Very ladies. Cool, dude. 2020 cool. is going to be the year the intro. of the cat. Yeah, and yeah, Thane did edit I the made intro. That intro. Wait, Thane's what? ideas for the intro. Year of the cat. That's not, now, is that a real thing you're talking 2020, about? 2020, the year of the cats, baby. One no, he's talking about oh, Chinese shoot. New Year. I was thinking saying? Chinese New Year. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, the cat's not a thing in the no, Chinese New Year. You want to know something? You want to know something funny? What? So, in the tale of how all the animals got in the Chinese zodiac. The cat was the 13th animal. It always got screwed over. Yeah. So this year's the year of the cat. For all those got screwed over, this is your year. Yeah. Get your butt back your in gear. Get your game on yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was inspirational. Anyways, I was thinking the year of the cat, everyone got screwed over. Like, you're going to get screwed over this year. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when he first uh, said that. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know. He just said it. That's so a I'm true like, story. Yeah, yeah. The, the cat would get screwed over. Oh. And that's why it didn't get to be a part of the years. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess it depends on how. Like the rat said, hey, okay. get out of here. Okay, th <laughs> this is the year of the cat. The cat's coming, baby. Yeah. We coming. Yeah, don't get screwed over we and try not to screw anyone <laughs> yeah! over. We coming, baby. <laughs> Actually, you want something funny? Apparently, 2020 is the year of the rat. So, well, we did call ourselves yeah, the so cat we're rats. We're taking over. We're taking over the year of the cat. The r overthrow the rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so quickly before we end, uh, we're working on... I need to talk to you guys about it, but I think we're going to do our own website, which is where we will sell the merchandise from. Either that or we'll just do a eBay and Amazon. Um, Whatever is cheaper and easier for us right now because we don't have a lot of um, expenditures. Is that the correct term? We don't have a sure. lot of money to spend yeah, right Patreon's now. Yeah, Patreon's not... It's it's not it's weak. I think we should work on a Patreon too. But anyway, <laughs> um, specifically right now, what we got in the works is some shirts and some hoodies. Um, I figured we start with two or three items and just see how it goes. What do you guys think? I'm down. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then ev occasionally or eventually we'll get like a pillowcase and a keychain and Dude, some I stickers want, and a body <laughs> pillow. Imagine. <laughs> some Imagine body pillows. Body pillow. You get like yeah. you can get like a yeah you get you get someone's face or you can get all four of our faces on a pillow. Oh, that'd be so weird. The whole body. And it's, and it's the uh, it's the Dang. one where you like wipe it away and like reveals our face like at first. Yeah. Oh, that'd really be red. crazy, like bro. Sequin, sequin, yes. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That's way down the line. We can't yeah. make sequin pillows yet, guys. Oh, we'll do it for my request. Yeah, we'll freaking yeah. do that, dude. <laughs> We're we'll find a way. Did you know there's Danny DeVito sequin pillows? There, I bought Macy yeah. a Nick Cage. Nick Cage yeah, he's like, you white boys, like... That's freaking that. awesome, dude. <laughs> uh, well, everyone, thanks for hanging out with us. If you made it this far, comment down below and say, I made it. I dare you. I made it. And if you skip to the end and Still you got to this it. far, just say I made <laughs> you it. You cheated. <laughs> yeah, say I cheated. <laughs> Lie to our faces. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, and we're going to try and I stream a little bit more. Halo yeah. 
that you will be here next week. For the show, because we're not going to miss a week. I don't think we missed so a week. Bad. We didn't yeah. miss a week. I tried to throw Halo we, in there. Are you sure we, we haven't missed a week? Really we bad. have not missed a week. No, we were late on a few well, weeks. But we're oh, done with, yeah. we, we took a week off, so yeah. technically we missed we missed a week, if you want to say that. But we but we made a season finale and said we, we were going on a break. We were on a break. Our Thanks week game ain't week, boy. Yeah. But hope you guys keep it rad. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can get hot gamer girl content like this. Me scratch my knee. Also, um, Zay runs our social media, so go chat with him oh on gosh. social media. You can uh, by make following. Sure you follow him so you can like so you can like along with Zay all of the Fortnite clips that the Radcats channel likes. Huh, Zay? Likes or posts? <laughs> posts. <laughs> likes. We, we post a lot of Fortnite. Yeah, I need to send you. I need to send you. I need to send you the one do for I? today. You do. I saw it today. I liked it's, one. It's when Radcats liked this. It was a Fortnite clip. Oh, it's freak because there's big streamers. I've, I've, we, I don't know. Do you just follow. Like me? I don't know. Shout out to those Fortnite streamers. There you go. And shout out to these boys for being here, for doing some podcasts. Have a fantastic night. Sorry, you guys had to see the hole in my pants. I've been trying to hard to cover it up this entire time. Hope you guys. Same doesn't cover up his. Hope Look, you guys have a good rest of your day. Keep. I hope you guys stay safe it today. Rad and. I'm not saying the next part of the place is we're ditching it. It's gone. No more keep it. Keep it bad, boy. You know what's something funny? You know what's something funny? Plasma pistol in this distance kind of looks like a rooster. Kind of. This is the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Bye.